dynamic duo, <laughs> Walter and Hank today. We're live. Welcome back to the Big Daddy Gun Studios. We are the Who Moves My Freedom podcast. I am Hank Strange, and this handsome fellow right here is Walter Keller. Too much light. I'm like glowing in the dark tonight. Yeah, and uh, you know, you know what we're gonna ask him about, right? Um, yeah, black powder suppressors. No, no, that's what oh, we're gonna oh. talk about. What are we gonna ask them if they have it on? We always ask people if they have something on. Uh, if, oh, the big girl panties, big yes. girl panties. Yeah, those. Yes. Those, those are thongs, if by the way, oh, big girl oh. panties are thongs. Yeah. Oh, they are. Okay, I guess. <laughs> not in Walter's not, world. <laughs> not the pens or anything like that, you know. But. Yeah, in Walter's world, big girl panties are thongs. That's not what I think. But do you have your do you have your big girl panties on? We are talking about a fifty state legal, fifty caliber suppressed rifle, suppressed fifty cal for everyone. You get a fifty cal, and you get a fifty cal, and you get a fifty cal, and everybody gets a fifty. Cal. Everybody gets a fifty cal at least for five minutes, anyways. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's fifty state legal suppressed fifty cal rifle, and it's from Silencer Co. Silencer Co. Yeah, and we're gonna talk about that tonight, along with the with other things. We'll talk about the news and a bunch of other things that are going on. Oh, there's another earthquake in Mexico. Those poor people. Yeah, there's oh, earthquakes God. out there. There's uh, more hurricanes Trump coming at, at the us. UN. That's what happened. Trump was talking. The UN caused an earthquake. It's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. I love do, you, I love him. I love him. do you remember what was the name of the guy? Was it Noriega? No, it wasn't yeah. Noriega. It was one of those guys who came on to the UN. I think after one of our presidents. And was and he said he smelled sulfur. Was that Noriega? <laughs> that no, might have been. That might have. That's uh, oh, Hugo that, Chavez. Chavez. <laughs> Chavez. Yeah. yeah. Look what happened to him. The, the sulfur caught up with his ass. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> He's somebody's getting lots of sulfur up the booty. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting his. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Anyways. exactly. All right, so I want to say what's up to everyone who's out there. Give me a roll call right now. Let me know if you're out there. We got tons of folks hanging out with us in the chat. I'm going to try to go through real quick. And, of course, uh, Crispy was the first in the chat today. So shout out, special shout out and award to Crispy for being the first dude in the chat. What's the award? And he was talking to me. Uh, uh, special shout out. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Special a shout personal out. shout out. With sauce and sugar on top. <laughs> there you go, Crispy. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy that virtual sauceness. Mm, uh, Lauren, <laughs> Lawrence Lerwick was also hanging out with him early. Those guys are talking to me, kicking it. Uh, Liberty Life was also in there. Joe Carpenter. Let's see who else. Uh, let's see who else we got in there. We've got, I'm going down. There. Okay, Tango Hunter is already up in there. And uh, yeah, let's see who else we got here. Um, Vanessa Kitty, what's going on? And Nathan Claus, Dan Davis, Highway Run 77, Chris Bullis, Screaming Skull Saloon, mm. DC2 Mega Boost. Who was the first dude? You know, I was going to, I'm glad I remember this, Walter. What's you know, that? we posted a video today. Um, actually, it was the video of us shooting the. Uh, SMG, the full auto, oh, yeah. Chris Vector, posted yeah. that today, and DC2 Mega Boost, I believe, was the first dude first to comment to comment in there. So he gets he gets a special comment, and there, yeah, he says, "Love that Chris Vector vid." So he mm. was the first dude in there. Uh, we've also got, I think I said David G. We've that got thing's, Tony London. That thing's an ammo hose. Yeah, man, that 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 <laughs> forty five goes through there real fast, man. Those double taps yeah. are like you don't even notice. You think it's one round. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a pretty cool gun. Um, the video is up for anyone who wants to watch it. Uh, don't you know? If you're gonna watch it now, you got to keep us on. Open that up in a separate yeah. window. Let it run a couple of times. <laughs> watch all the advert. I don't know whether they took the advertising away or not. They're always taken away. Like as soon as we make a video active, they take away the advertising. So dirty dogs. Yeah, it's a good thing we got the people on Patreon. Patreon supporting us. <laughs> Special <laughs> shout out to everyone that supports us on Patreon. All the way up front. I always forget to say it up front. I always remember to say it in the back, but I'm glad that I remember it today to give a shout out to those dudes. We might get Babyface to come on later. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh oh. Yeah, so uh, what are you making videos? <laughs> oh, stop it. You can still hear. What, what is that? Your phone? 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a sneak peek of a video that Walter has coming up, everyone. Yeah. Well, that was so, a little okay. interordinance pistol one I did this morning. Yeah. So, Since yeah. you already interrupted us with interordinance, what were you up to with them? What uh, were you doing? Well, that, I was just messing with that pistol that I got from you, trying to fix it. You know, okay. I, I made a short little video showing the the problems with it. Um, uh oh. So once but, we uh, open it, because we shot it and we didn't really see any problems other than it throws out a lot of fireballs, but yeah, there are but, some issues inside, right? Yeah. When you look at it close, it's there's some definite quality issues. So um, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it up and I'll report back. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, absolutely. We would like to see what's going on with that. Yeah. So for everyone that wants to join in on us with that conversation about the 50 state legal suppressed 50 cal, um, you can find out about this. There's a, you know, if you look at either the truth about guns or the firearm blog, they have articles on it. And mm -hmm. um, obviously, Silencer Co. has cool. a, yeah, Silencer Co. has um, on their website, they've got stuff about it. On YouTube, they've got a bunch of videos. They're talking all about it. Hey, I'm going to ask the interweb. Anybody taking bets how long it is before California California bans it? <laughs> <laughs> um, th don't you even have to? Well, no, it's a muzzle loader. It so no matter what it is. That's the reason why it shouldn't have to go through any kind of paperwork. You can have it shipped directly to your house. Yeah. So um, we'll see what happens with California. They're probably drafting something right now. They're and, yeah, and I want to take, I want to also remind everyone before I forget, Make sure you click that thumbs up button on this video. Click that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed. You know, you might be subscribed to us, but not getting notifications that we're coming on. That's because you have to turn on the bell. You have to click on the bell so you get notifications. And share this video with your friends and family on I, the social um, medias. Tony, Tony London's asking. He said he just got his fifth gen Glock 19. Um, and he's Ooh. asking if any. Oh, he pulled that message off. Never mind. But yeah, yeah, he said he got a Glock 19 Gen 5. So, oh, uh, no, that message is still there. I don't know. No, he that is. He was asking about a range. Oh, it's coming back up. There oh, it says anyone know of a steel shooting range in Central Florida? Um, there's a couple uh, in Central. No, that has steel. Yeah, aren't there? That's your neck of the woods. Um, no, I, that's my neck of the woods. Excuse me. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm North Central though. Yeah, um, we went to. I'd have to ask Will if the range over in Orlando had steel. I can't remember. Um, I only went there one time with him and his buds from yeah. college, but yeah. yeah, we got to say what's up to the Tyvon show. He says, Tyvon. hashtag, hashtag Hank for a shout out. What's up yeah. Tyvon show. Um, I don't know if Tyvon show wants to join us. He's always welcome to join us. If he wants to just get in touch with Lola. Hey, does anybody, the air with does us. anybody know if the new silence of co shoots sabotage rounds? Uh huh. I don't know. Lights out. One eighty three says bet New York City will shut it down. I think the oh, deal yeah. with that it's I think it's automatically illegal in NYC itself. Yeah, you can't have a muzzleloader anyways in New York City. So yeah, you can't have hard. you can't have shit in New York City. You can't have the you can't have the the <laughs> lead bullets for the. <laughs> yeah, I was bullet. talking to my brother Anonymous Strange about this uh, while I was driving in. Anonymous says you can't have a slingshot. No, nope. you can't have any kind of projectile throwing devices. Just vomit. That's the only your thing hand. You, can do. you can't vomit. take your hand and throw a projectile in New York City. Okay. Well, <laughs> you are illegal. When you're born as a human being in New York City, they slap you on the ass and say, "Welcome <laughs> to slavery." <laughs> Welcome to. The <laughs> Yeah, so New York City probably has all those places beat, and there's, I'm sure there's a bunch of other little cities around the country. But um, New York State, though, that's a different thing. So I'm pretty sure New York State right, can right. get this. Yeah, the only it's like with 50 cal rifles. The only place it's banned is in California. Um, 50 yeah. 50 BMG. Every every other place you can have a 50 BMG, irregardless what you think, except for yeah new york city probably yeah yeah jo joe carpenter says only spitballs in new york city i doubt you can even have spitballs mike bryant just joined up what's up mike bryant um okay the tyvan show is on the road he's in on i-95 in virginia Vomit are you going here. north or south on i-95 so he's bound it down roll it up and truck yeah mr holster <laughs> says new york won't let you carry a folding pocket knife nope yeah, I think any knife that a police officer can flip out, then that's considered <laughs> illegal. So if he can yeah. flip it out, it's illegal. Flip it out. Yeah, New York, um, shut up and play your guitar, says New York State would more than likely ban. So I'm sure, listen, so here I'm, uh, we're going to talk about this more in detail, but I think Silencer Co. 
the first 3,000 people that buy this get a special bag. Yeah. So there is a link in the description of this video to their website. You guys can order this all around the country in all the 50 states. Yeah, I get it. So I, that if, be, you if, know, if you're thinking about it, I'd get it quick. I wouldn't. Uh, I yeah, wouldn't wait. I'm pretty sure those 3,000 are going to sell out really fast. It's a thousand bucks. Um, you know, and that's for the gun, which comes with the suppressor and everything. So here, this is on the firearm blog. It says breaking 50 state suppression. <laughs> the muzzle breaking. loading silencer co maxim 50 silencer co recently announced a suppressed gun that is completely legal in all 50 states of the usa america additionally the gun does not require an ffl or a 44 uh, 4473 stamp Shit. Um, further it can be ordered online and shipped to your front door i don't know what a 4473 4, stamp is i think that's the paperwork yeah that could be wrong. yeah yeah Sounds too good to be true. Meet the Maxim yeah. 50. The Maxim 50 is a suppressed 50 caliber muzzle loader. As such, it is not regulated by the same laws that govern cartridge based firearms. Hence, it is currently legal in every US state and avoids the fees and taxes associated with the transfer of guns and sound suppressors. So I guess you can read the ATF letter because people might be saying, well, they understand why the muzzle loader doesn't have that, but how come the suppressor doesn't have to ever have it? It's permanently attached. Yeah, I think it's permanently attached to all of this, so therefore, you know, and then there's a note here that says, Illinois, New Jersey, New York City, and Washington, D.C. still require the transfer through an FFL. There you go. Uh, according to information provided by Silencer Co., this muzzle loader has a 20-inch barrel with a 9-inch sound moderator, so that would be... <laughs> Moderator. <laughs> Moderator. <laughs> Overall, it's about uh, 45 inches long and weighs just under seven and a half pounds. The gun uses a striker fire firing system with attack trigger system. The trigger is a two stage type with a pull set at two pounds. Wow. Yeah. Essentially, this is a traditions firearms vortex strike fire. Okay, that's what I was asking you about. They yeah. didn't. Center, I mean, Sandra Co. didn't reinvent the wheel for a black powder rifle. Okay, so they, so the rifle's coming from Traditions Firearms, right. and yeah. they're just, they're just attaching the can to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's, a, there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, they also have, they've got stuff on their website, so you can go look at their website. They have videos. They have the manual. Everything's up there. Yeah. You know, so I'm interested to see, like, first of all, how many of these are, are they going to sell? Is this going to sell faster than the iPhone, what I like to call the iPhone X? But people keep saying you're supposed to call it the iPhone 10. Screw that. I'm calling it the iPhone X. I know X is the uh, the Roman well, numeral for 10, but who gives a crap? It would be a lot better investment. Yeah. So here we go. Um, you know, and this is a first, right? I think I've told you before, I like stuff that's first. Yep, yep. You know, Good idea. Yeah, Silencer Co. is just hitting people upside the head, man. They they have like, you know, at least I think Silencer Co. is thinking out of the box and has a strategy for all this crap going on. Because I know there's a lot of, like, for example, they put out the Maxim 9, which we did some videos on and we've talked right. about here. But not everyone's going to go get a Maxim 9 because you have to order it. It's about fourteen, fifteen hundred bucks. It comes into your SOT and then, then they sit on it for a year while you do all your paperwork. <laughs> You know, so not everyone's going to go get those. I right, think those right. are cool, except for the trigger. But this is something you can just order, and it'll show up at your house. Right. So yeah, it's 50 cool. caliber, um, 45 inches overall, 20 inches, like we said. Uh, the moderator is 9 inches, weight 7 pounds, 6 ounces. Uh, muzzle average, 139 decibels. Rate of twist is 1 and 28. Price nine hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents, and you can buy it now. Order, yeah. The first three thousand Maxim nine fifties. Um, what did I say? Maxim nine, Maxim fifties <laughs> sold will ship with a limited edition all weather carrying case, and you've got to be eighteen years or older. Which, if it doesn't, if it doesn't have to go on any laws, what the hell do you have to be eighteen for? Uh, they're just covering their butt. Yeah. So I mean, they've got. I, I don't know if you can possess a muzzle loader legally if you're not 18. Oh, so there's an age restriction on muzzle loaders? I don't know. I have a good question. Yeah. Well, at 18, you're an adult, supposedly. So. Yeah. That, that's probably why they're doing it. 
Um, if the tr if you don't look at the firearm blog or read the firearm blog, the truth about guns pretty much has like the same article showing pictures and stuff like that. Walter was looking at the videos. He likes how in the beginning of uh, the videos for it, the dudes are walking towards California. <laughs> yep, yep, poking Cal <laughs> poking the bear, so to speak. Yeah. So, what do you why think about why what do you think about? Why, why do you think they choose California? Um, because you know California. Why do they go walking is... into New York? Well, I can't walk into New York City. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they were somewhere. They were in Utah somewhere, right? Walking towards California, or where? Where yeah. were they walking towards California? I don't know. Yeah. You could be walking towards whatever you want to if you're not actually in California, walking down the road. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty well, sure that happened in Utah somewhere where the, where Silas are going. So what were you going to ask me before I interrupted you? I know I was going to ask you what you think about this. I see that you're you know you're Mid enjoying your lunch or whatever there. I think it's uh, um, kind of gimmicky myself, but okay. Um, it, it, there's no reason why you can't do it. You know you can have a you can have a suppressor on an air rifle. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that's all legal and not legal, but. Um, Probably a good idea, a good marketing thing. It's getting their getting their name out in front of people that might not necessarily see them or know of them. Um, yeah, I, you know, I. It's I a, think it's a, it's, a, go ahead. It's, a, it's a positioning thing. I think mm -hmm. um, they'll probably sell quite a few of them. Um, it's not cheap. You know, it's still out of a reach of a lot of people. Yeah. So, what's the price usually on muzzle loaders out there? Muzzle loader is usually cheap, or well, what's the price of that particular muzzle loader? Hold on, let me see. So, I don't know the traditions. They're not they're not real inexpensive, but they're not a thousand dollars either. Yeah. Uh, let, let's see. Where was that article? <laughs> Trying to find that specific one that says it was a traditions. Uh, here we go. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, let's see what a Traditions Vortex Strike Fire muzzle loader costs. Let's put that in there. And uh, see what one of those costs. Or someone could tell us in the chat and we'll, yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, um, yeah, that was my uh, shut up and play was your guitar. It was how long will that suppressor last with the black powder? Yeah, that was my my first thing I thought about because black powder is a mess. Yeah, you're gonna be doing a serious amount of cleaning. Okay, I can't. I'm I'm yeah. trying to pull up a. Um, let's see if their website tells us what the price is. Okay, so um, it's not the exact one, but I'm seeing prices going from like seven up to eight, nine hundred bucks. Really? So yeah. Wow. Well, for those or maybe six some of them are like five six so it's different prices i'm not sure what that exact one costs but let's say that's like 500 bucks then yeah. you're paying another you're spending another 500 bucks for the suppressor you know we always have that conversation right like what is a suppressor worth even those high-end suppressors do these guys uh you know does, does it cost them 100 bucks even to manufacture those high-end suppressors but uh um, depends on the metals and yeah so the now Right. I think when it comes, like you were saying, it's 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 it could be a gimmick. We could say that it's a gimmick, but I think that it's um, even if it's a gimmick, it's a good way to go. Right. They're trying to think outside of the box and do something different and yeah. push the envelope, I'll give them you know, that. and challenge the authorities. Well, yeah, that the are folks, out there. The folks at ATF got to be like, going, huh. hmm. Well, so did so did. Do you think they would have had to have gone through an ATF a, approval oh, yeah. process for all of this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it, and you have to figure out if you make that suppressor and it's not attached to that to that rifle barrel, it's might be NFA. So at what point does that not become NFA? Do you first attach the body of the can and then put the internals? Are the internals attached permanently to the barrel and then the outside goes over i'd like to know that that's a process i'd like to know how they assemble it it's like it's for example if you take a machine gun that's been demilled mm -hmm. and you re-weld it you have to make it a not a machine gun before you re-weld it right. so, so that's a i want to know how the how they get around that those parts not being nfa and, and maybe they are nfa and then once they attach it to the muzzle loader it 
they're not. I, I, mm. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, if you guys have questions, feel free to ask us. Not that we know shit. <laughs> I don't think they're going to talk that on their website. Yeah, and but. I know people are asking me, you know, if we can get Silence Rico to come on. Hey, Silence Rico, if you're watching this, you are invited to come on. I do know the marketing people and stuff like that at Silence Rico, but, um, you know, I did not reach out to them in all fairness. I didn't try to reach out to them and ask them if they wanted to come on the show. All of this is breaking today, so we just decided to get right. on here and talk They're about it. They probably got everybody and their brother trying to talk to them. Yeah, but if, yes, I'm sure they do. Fox and all those people, so. Yeah, I'm sure they do have a bunch of people trying to talk to them, um, you know. But if they're, if anyone from Silence Rico is watching, you guys should have there. some kind of contact info for me. You got my, you got my, um. You should have my number somewhere. Text me, and we'll send you a link, and we'll let you come on the show while we're talking. If you're into that, you can explain. Gonna, to, go ahead. You can explain this to us. You know, explain yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So Mike Bryan says by selling an unregistered 50-state silencer, it might help make silencers more commonly used for sporting and legal purposes. Um, shut up and play your guitar. Says. Um, if that suppressor is removable, that would be an unregistered oh, yeah. can if you have any weapon in the home other than a muzzle loader. Well, so it, I know you can take the whole thing apart. They have videos of them taking apart. I did not see the suppressor coming off the barrel. And I guarantee you that it doesn't completely come off. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, I guarantee you any question that we could think about, they thought about it. Right. And right. they do have an FAQ. So let's, um, let me, let's look at their page here and look at the FAQs if we can even pull that up. Um, okay, so here's the FAQ. It's a PDF, da, 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 safety stuff. What is a, what is a sound moderator? <laughs> a sound moderator <laughs> is a device permanently affixed to the barrel of an antique firearm. Moderators reduce noise, muzzle flash, and recoil. So that's the whole thing. It's not a suppressor. It's a sound moderator. And so that's probably the whole legal thing that they're going over. So one of the questions is, why don't notice I need said, a tax? Notice you said permanently attached to an antique. Yeah. So that's the whole thing that they're going with here. That's why they're not calling it a suppressor. You know. Um, so now, even though their like marketing material says suppress, they don't say sound um, like you know. Sound like, moderated. Yeah, they don't say a fifty-state legal moderated. <laughs> But I get nobody, that. Sound moderator doesn't ring any bells. It doesn't get you excited. Right. So why don't I need a tax stamp? The um, the BATFE defines a silencer as a device for silencing, muffling, or diminishing the report of a portable firearm. By that definition, a silencer is only a silencer if it can attach to a firearm. The uh -huh. Maxim 50 is built on the base of a traditions vortex strike fire muzzle loader. Muzzle loaders are not considered firearms by the BATFE, but are instead antique firearms, a definition and difference that is very distinct. Because of this, um, um, a moderator that is permanently affixed to a muzzle loader is not legally defined as a silencer since, it's, since it does not attach to a firearm. So there you go. Um, then there's a bunch of specs and recommended. Can it shoot sabotaged ammo? Did they say that? Um, I, uh, let me see. I don't know. Da, 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 da. So. Or I should it say sabotaged projectiles. I don't see anything from that here. Does he know how you can? Uh, it says uh, approved black powder, 100 grain of black horn 209 powder, approved projectiles, federal, uh, BOR, Lock Z, Hornady. FPB similar projectiles that do not have wadding or plastic that separates Saturday. from the yeah yeah so right. that would come loose inside the can right yeah I approved that. primers Winchester two or nine primer yep. two or nine shot shell primers they've got a bunch of videos I mean they've thought about this in advance they've got videos of how to load it how to shoot it um, how to take it apart and clean it um you know. Let's see, they talk about what's black powder, what's a projectile, where do I get these things? You can get them anywhere. I think you can still get them in Walmart and stuff like that, but all your gun stores will have it. Bass Pro. Uh, yeah. So, so state restrictions. Washington, Oregon, and Idaho do not permit the use of this type of muzzle loader for hunting. Oh, okay. Because of the 209 shot shell primer. Yeah, it's ignited with a shot shell primer, yeah. So you can't use it for hunting in those states. 
Um, and then obviously all these states have different, uh, you know, hunting laws and uh, then it's, yeah. Yeah. So where can you ship? We can ship directly to your door in most states with the exception of Illinois, New Jersey, New York City, and its incorporated <laughs> territories, which includes your ass, which territories <laughs> include the following counties, Bronx, Kings, Nassau, Queens, Richmond, and New York. Washington DC can't ship it there either. And a partridge in a pear tree. But you can still have it in those places if you go through an FFL. So there you go. Yeah, they want to have papers. Yeah. You have uh, papers. Returns. We do not accept returns for the Maxim 50. No. So <laughs> too contact bad. Solace or Co. Customer Service Department if you have questions. So yeah, you 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 bought it. You, you, you break it, it, you bought it. <laughs> you oh, I don't like it. this thing. I thought this was a no too bad, sucker. You know. Yeah. Hey, look who it is. Right. So I don't know if there's any other questions that people baby. have. Uh, baby oh, face. Baby me. face is loading up. So um, I, I, I missed. There's probably a whole bunch of questions that you guys are asking about this, but I was just reading all that stuff. So Lola's probably going to go through and hit me up. Let me see. This is going to be. This is going to be a big sale in Pennsylvania. It says shut up and play your guitar. Um, hey, Pennsylvania still can't hunt on Sundays or something like that. Is that true or false? What some that you cannot states. hunt on Sundays? Yeah, some of these um, northeastern states you can't you can't hunt on Sunday. Yeah. What's Joe up with Carpenter that? says, "Does that mean my gun is a bullet actuator?" <laughs> <laughs> um, should have something for cleaning and maintenance. They definitely have videos for cleaning and maintenance. They are, they, are we still talking about the fifty cal? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I watch the videos on cleaning and maintenance, and they only cover uh, the action itself, like a deep cleaning of the action. They say what you're supposed to do is take the barreled action. Well, I guess it's not called the action. It's Soak barreled. it and stuff. But. Yeah, you pour hot water through it, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it runs clean. Yeah, yeah, basically that's it. And then you uh, dump it out. And then you dump it Shoot out. It. And then you, I think they said pour boiling water through it so it'll, yeah. it'll dry quicker and then leave it. Let it dry. So does, okay. does the kit, excuse me, does the can disassemble at all or not? Nope, not that I see. Okay, that, that's yeah. how they get around all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's permanently part of that barrel. Yep, it's probably as they assemble a can and put it onto the onto that um, rifle, it's all welded in place as they go. So yeah, yeah, that's, it's, that's, not, it's not a can before they put it on. It's pieces that as it stacks up and they weld it all together. Yep. But even I, I even like for uh, internally suppressed like twenty twos, you still have to get a tax stamp for the suppressor. How do they get around that? It's, oh, because it's a moderator. Yeah. It's not a suppressor. Yeah, you read the definition. They 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 followed the the you know. rules for a moderator. Yeah, yes. because oh, no. it, it's a consider. You know, a muzzle loader is an antique firearm, so it's not a suppressor that goes on there. It's a moderator. Even though it's not an antique, really. Yeah. 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 The technology is antique, so you can get it directly to your door, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't know. It's I think I it's still, deep, a lot of people still don't have a thousand dollars. Yeah, this that's exactly what I was gonna say. I, I don't have a thousand bucks to throw up. That. No, I mean I. Yeah. Okay, granted, I just spent a thousand dollars on some other stuff, but but it's stuff that you wanted. <laughs> yeah. It's not antique. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. And you only get uh, I think while I was reading online, it's uh, fifty to sixty rounds is when they suggest cleaning it. No. But yeah, probably uh, a mess. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Holster yeah. says end cap removes to allow baffles to drop. Maybe he so he wants to know if the end cap nope that removes. Nope. I doubt it. I don't think so because you could take those things out and then you could use them somewhere else. Completely sealed shut. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cody Jones is doing the roll call. So what's up, Cody Jones? Uh, also, Matt J is on the roll call. Um, and then Tyvin says that this is proof that a suppressor does not cost a thousand dollars because oh, no. the. Yeah. Yeah, basically it's a cool. gun. The gun's probably like five or six hundred bucks. I the don't other know thing what... is, is black powder is very low pressure, I believe. So it doesn't have the same requirements as a as a regular yeah. rifle cartridge. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if you caught that when you were coming in, Patrick, but mm -hmm. they said that you could not return this to Silas ago. <laughs> that just that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> so um, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if yeah. they're gonna have any sort of repairs or anything because. That can, if you don't take care of it, is going to get fouled so fast. Well, yeah, yeah, well, they say you can call them. It says, should a situation arise, 
that presents an issue for safe use, contact customer service. For servicing, all standard servicing can be performed by the user. Please reference the cleaning section of the thing. Um, yeah, so uh, Chris Bullis is asking, does anybody make pre-made pre rounds for this? Uh, can you get like <clears throat> paper patch rounds or something that have the mm -hmm. black powder be below and then you just... Well, I mean, you have the little, um, you know, you, with black powder, you get the, the little pressed um, pellets of powder. Oh, you just dump that? Yeah. Matter of fact, you know what? I have some. I don't know if you could, I mean, you look, did you look at the loading videos? Because yeah. in the loading videos, they had a tube and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm stick yeah. a tube through the moderator. Yeah. yeah and then you right, pour so your that, powder in your bullet. So that clears it, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let me, let me yeah, yeah I thought about that. I was like, man, can you imagine if you had black powder in the moderator? It's going to shoot a fireball out. <laughs> yeah, and when you go to clean this thing, you really got you really need to. Um, it's it's you probably have to do a thorough cleaning. Did, did you see where? How, like, how many this, times can you shoot it before you clean it, Patrick? To Sixty. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Uh, uh, um, not bad. I I run my cans until they die. <laughs> I haven't. You know, we we shot all that ammo through the uh, the Liberty Mystic this weekend. <clears throat> I probably yeah. have a thousand rounds. Yeah, but, but considering the fact, <laughs> that, how, how long does it take to load this thing every time? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so what's this, Walter? These are the, oh, these are, these are pistol, pistol powder charges from uh, Pyrodex. Oh, so those are the single charges? Yeah, they're like pellets. Yeah, that's yeah. you just drop that down in the in the in the chamber, and you got your powder charge already measured and the whole nine yards. So I don't. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be something you shoot a lot of. I think this is something that you zero in and then use for black powder hunting. Yeah, it's yeah, really it. yeah, it's really gonna most likely be for hunting. I don't see people using this like you can use anything defensively, of course. <laughs> I don't see people using it defensively. <laughs> you know, maybe if it takes off, we'll get some other car. Uh, don't calibers. show up. Don't, don't show up. At, <laughs> don't show up at Valor Ridge with your black powder suppressor. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, Reed, Reed would probably love that shit. Where's your hat? Don't, are you wearing a Valor Ridge hat? Don't get they have right your hat and a Valor Ridge, baby. I'm he's, ready to fight. I go. got my black powder right Yeah, look, he's got a musket on your hat. Oh, there you, there go. you go, right there, Valor Ridge. <laughs> All day, every day. <laughs> you know, representing for the people. <laughs> yeah, so you know what? I think that, um, you know, I think eventually if it takes off, you might see other calibers. I mean, right now this is like a 50. It could probably come in other calibers and stuff like that. Maybe we'll see pistols. Or maybe some people should make some pistols. Walter? I gave me an idea. I'm thinking about it. Are you going to make a pistol? I'm thinking about things, you know. <laughs> I, got so, I got so much stuff to do, it's like. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, hey, jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, ride it like a freaking, use it like a Trojan, man. Don't yeah, <laughs> you know. Maybe a revolver. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah, that'd be, well, that'd be cool. Well, that's that's all revolver. over it. <laughs> suppress revolvers, you can't suppress, suppress very well because they got that gas. Yeah, the gas seal. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. We'd have to find some other way yeah. of doing <laughs> it. But, you know, hey, listen, I, I know that it's it's um, it. people may see it as being gimmicky. It's kind of expensive. People yeah. won't necessarily go out there and buy it. Yeah. I mean, with, with all the rules, look, if folks jump out there and buy them for a 1000 bucks, by the time it comes Not into happen. the used market, you know, it might be less than a thousand. You see what the radius is going for now? That started out as, as a thousand uh, dollar sight in tool, whatever. It's out to like a thousand meters, laser mm -hmm. laser designator or whatever. Oh, that's also from Silence Co. Silence right? Co. That's now yeah. down to like you can get those pretty regularly on clearance for like three hundred and fifty bucks. Really? From um, yeah, it's because they're not that great. <laughs> oh, didn't you? Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't you have one of those? I almost bought one. I got oh. really close to buying one. It's a laser rangefinder. Um, and then I read the reviews in the uh, the SIG version. The SIG Kilo 2000 is, like, same price and better. has everything. Way better. better. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay. that's why the price is where it is right now. And they're still not selling. <laughs> yeah. I, I see this being the same thing. I think in uh, a year or two, it's going to be a 500 dollars weapon. Yeah. I think there are people out there that will get them. Oh, yeah. There are. Um, oh, yeah. And there's different they're, reasons. They'll, they'll, show up, they'll show up and they'll open up the box and go, "Why well, they order this?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was all excited. Gun guns. Yeah, we got we get all excited. Something news out. We're gonna. Oh, oh yeah, it's happened to me before. Yeah. Like, Why they order this? <laughs> yeah, you know they my know first, how to push our buttons. My first rifle I bought, I got as a present. Uh, I went and picked it out, and that was one of those that after I got it, I was like, "Man, I way overpaid." I got a. Uh, <laughs> and now, but but the funny thing is. At the time, I overpaid. Now it's it's cheaper than you get it. I bought a uh, 
My first rifle was a M44 Mosin Nagant, a little yeah. short one, a actual Russian that it was. Right. This was like uh, maybe seven or eight, eight years ago. I bought it for two hundred and fifty bucks. Ah. No, now it's not bad. Well, but yeah, yeah. Ago, eight years ago, that's insane for a for a, yeah. a Mosin. I, I think it's insane now, but anyways, yeah. So what so happened to it? Did you get rid of it? Because no, I still have it. I just never shoot it. It's, oh, okay. I can't get. That's one of those that I just can't get rid of. There's no idea. Yeah, it's your first gun. Yeah. Yeah, well, Mos okay, Mosin. Mosin Go ahead, Mos Walter. Mosins are expensive now just because of supply. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah, if there was, if the Russians were still important stuff and everything was good, oh, it was so they'd be deep. fifty bucks. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, or you get you get you get the brand new ones like my dad was buying them by the case, and you get <laughs> seventy five dollars a piece with all the accessories. Twenty of them in a, a crate. You get the wooden you, crate, the whole nine I, yards. I yeah. wish I would have gotten one of those way back when. Because did so your dad cool. sell all those that he bought by the crate? He sold all those already, right? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I just want one of those crates because those crates are awesome. Yeah, I keep my receivers from my uppers in one of those wooden crates. Do you really? Uh, yeah, in the shop. Yeah. If you ever come across another one, let me know because I want one. Yeah, they make some people use them for coffee tables. And That's stuff what like I want to do. Put it in the office as a coffee table. Or they yeah. put the put the rifles inside of it and put glass on top. That's what I want to do with one. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's cool. It looks so. Neat. Thinking, I, I kind of on the same subject, but not. Back in the day when they were um they were getting rid of the M one five one Jeeps. They used to bring in compactors and compact it into a rectangle cube. Yeah. And it's about the oh, size. Oh, my God. You can make a coffee awesome. table up. <laughs> people, just, did people ever do that? They put a piece of glass on top. It's like, that's a Jeep, honey. <laughs> I can't yeah. even know. Well. I've, seen, I've seen dudes. Now, this is really off the topic and definitely on, on the deep end. I've seen dudes take the Ferrari engine. Oh, yeah. yeah I've seen things of those. But uh, but even a dead Ferrari engine is expensive. It's still worth a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. I don't know what other engine out there would be. You know, V eight engines look cool and everything, yeah. but you yeah. know, I don't know what would be more beautiful than a Ferrari engine, man. That's like a work of art. A Hemi so. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Um, top hey, theory, if anybody, if anybody, something like that. What's up, Walter? It's breaking up, man. Oh. Huh. What's up, Walter? Well, oh, um, oh, somebody's got, we've got, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's on your end. Someone's, uh, you know, someone's playing video games or something. Can you, can you hear me fine? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's on yeah. Walter. That's on, Walter, <laughs> that's on your end. Tell people, tell the people to get off the internet. <laughs> tell them peeps to get off that, get that off. bandwidth. Yeah, be off the webs. <laughs> yeah, don't say that because you will be you will be homeless tonight. <laughs> it's, it's probably my son actually. So he got one of those. Um, he got one of the new Nintendo Switch. Is that what it's I called? I have one and I love it. Yes, for his birthday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so I actually have one right here. Oh, you do? Go ahead, show it. Oh, you ready? Babyface is our resident video it's, game it's expert. Still in, it's still in the box and everything. What the hell is that thing still doing in the box? <laughs> Are you making <laughs> a video? Hopefully a friend of mine isn't watching the, the channel right now because it's his birthday present coming up in like... Oh, ah! I was going to say unbox it right now. Unbox it. <laughs> no, it's it's a uh, friend's... We, we all pitched oh. in to get a friend of ours one for his birthday um, okay. in like two weeks. So hopefully he's not watching the channel. <laughs> he's going to see it. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope he is watching. I mean, he already yeah. knows. He knows the yeah. secret. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Tyvin wants to know who saw the um, the president's speech at the UN. Anyone see that? No, nope, I, I saw parts of it and pieces of it. I didn't see the whole thing. Okay, so what can you tell us about it? Uh, he just went out and said what he was thinking. You know, he called out the ones that he that are the problems, and and everybody just sat there and gasped. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. Did he um did he mention North Korea? Yes, he did. What did he say about North Korea? Oh, uh, what was he saying that they're? Oh, he called them Rocket Man. That's what they called oh. him. He's a Rocket <laughs> Man. <laughs> so. I'm coming home on the in the car tonight, and the and the guy on the radio is saying, "I bet Elton John's mad." <laughs> like, uh, uh -oh. Elton John can't own Rocket Man just because he made the song. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's yeah. the, it's like they say any press, any press. You know, you get that name back out, people go Rocket Man, Elton John. Next thing you know, they're downloading the stuff. You know, that's good. Yeah, it's all yeah. good. So, um, so was, you think? What do you think? It was a good speech. Yeah, you know, I, I, I like it when he all fired up. I like it when he goes out and he, you know, he shocks people. You know, yeah, he just, he just saying he's just saying what everybody's thinking. You know, that's mm -hmm. all. 
Yeah. The truth, the truth, the truth is good, you know. Was he off the script? Or did he I, did I it look like he was reading the teleprompter? I think at times he he made some um off the cuff additions to it, but um like I said, I didn't see the whole thing, so I just heard yeah. what the what the commentators were saying about it. So mm -hmm. um but you know, as long as you get the leftists all riled up, that's a good thing. Hey, what I think lots of people out there need to be rolled up. What are you going to say? Even bigger than than the whole UN thing is the fact that uh, Mr. Trump wasn't smoking crack when he said that uh, he was being um, um, wiretapped. It's the yeah, truth. Yeah, so someone was being wiretapped. He was being wiretapped as campaign in, manager, right? At, no, well, yeah, but in some of the same building he was in, um, and as CNN puts it, by the U.S. government, well, who's the U.S. government at that time? Uh, Barack Hussein Obama. So, um, mm -hmm. and Comey lied about it numerous times. I think under oath, actually, by mm -hmm. the way. Um, so this thing is way bigger than Watergate ever thought about being. So you're saying that that's, that whole story is about to... Um... Explode. Okay. I don't, and the whole Russian narrative goes out the window, too, with all that. So, you know, come on. It's it's time to as it, uh, as it should have months ago. Right, 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 right. That's a. That's I'm a, sure someone will bring back up the whole Russian narrative. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you know what? They, I think they would investigate in the Russian thing. They find out Clinton had more contact with the Russians than uh, than <laughs> uh, than, yeah. uh, than um, Mr. Trump did. So, yeah, you know, he's not crazy. You know, he just kind of has crazy hair. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> or as I say, just because you have crazy hair doesn't mean you're crazy. Yeah, I I totally agree with that. <laughs> yeah, look at you, man. <laughs> yeah, I can't argue that at all. And then then we got poor Mexico. You know, uh, yeah, they have another big ass kick ass earthquake in like near Mexico City. What was it? Uh, um, seven point one. Seven. Wow. Yeah, and, and you know, I I, I I know California had like a lower one, like a three or well, something. they're on the same line. You know, it's the same. Yeah. But yeah, I feel sorry for those people, man, because it's like it's just bad. So, you know. yeah, it's tough. I think, and that definitely killed some people. And then out in the uh, Caribbean, we got more oh, hurricanes uh, a brewing. <laughs> those poor people, people, man, they're getting shellac for the second time in two weeks. You know? Yeah, yeah, they're gonna have some. Oh god, they're gonna have some problems. Yeah, uh, the Virgin I Islands. Today, I heard today in the oh, Virgin Rico. Islands there is basically there's nobody there right now. Obviously, <clears throat> everybody has fled the Virgin Islands, which is smart. But there's a crew that had to be dispatched to. Like tip over the cows. Like literally, there's like a cow tip what? over that went so the cows don't blow off the island. Or no, I'm serious. <laughs> well, I mean, where is this? I don't want to see this. Are this professional cow tippers? I know. Uh, it might not have been that's cows, a dangerous but, job, yeah, man. You, you could die of, tipping cows. Yeah, take care of cows because that's the only thing left on the island. All right, let me ask you a question. I've never been there. Is there mountains in the Virgin Islands? Is it like, can you get up high? I don't know that actually. That's a good question. I mean, they herd the cattle up the side of the hill and then. Hang out? I don't know. <laughs> Grab onto a coconut tree and hope for the best? I don't the Virgin know. Islands are probably not like Hawaii. <laughs> I don't okay. know. I've never been there. I guess so, I could ask my I could probably ask my sister. She could tell me. She's been to every freaking place in the world. So, so yeah. yeah. Okay. Babyface can look that up. I'm trying to find right. yeah, He's, he's looking me. up the cow tippers right now. So we got to get into the cow tipping. <laughs> Could be some big See, money in that. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on with that? Tyvin says that um, Trump said that. What was it? Here we go. Um, to, uh, he said that he would destroy North Korea. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And that's just not, that's not diplomat talk. You know, yeah. they're not having a, a brandy and, and discussing things, you know. They're, he's like, oh, no, I'm going to fucking kill you. That's what us. Yeah. That's basically what he's saying, so. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, obviously they can't tell us what the uh, line in the uh, sand is with North Korea, but I hope at this point they've pretty much, they crossed the line. Yeah. You know, then yeah, they drew another that. line and they crossed that. And at this point, this Simon says there's a mountain there, fifteen hundred. So feet. yeah, so haul them up the mountain and make them wait. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that's what they used to do in the old days when stuff happened. Just head up the hills, you know, and hang yeah. on. Yeah, those poor cows. Those poor people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cows. Yeah. Um, I wonder if you can use cows as flotation devices. <laughs> Yeah. Fat to yeah, that's possible. You could probably use cows as flotation devices in an emergency. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, man, that that's really terrible, though. I mean, yeah. the Virgin Islands, oh, you know, God, yeah. all those all those little islands out there, man, they're getting yeah, shellac. Those people, you know, yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's gonna be tough. Uh, where are we in the hurricane season? Are we in the middle? Going towards the end? November first. Yeah. Is it the first is when it ends? Yeah, and November first, I believe. Yeah. So we're, yeah, so I think we're halfway through. through. Yeah, we're halfway through. So I mean, if they get, you know, yeah, this is the this is the. Uh, you know, you're in the height of the season, actually. I think now. So yeah, um, yeah, that's bad juju, Buana. Uh, yeah, and I think there's something spinning up towards New York area for. All well, the saying this there. thing could end up up in North Carolina that way. Oh, yeah, I think that's um, what was. That's what I was hearing. Yeah. yeah. So. so did you find this cow tipping stories? <laughs> can't I can't find it. I'll have to ask my coworker tomorrow. Wait, is it over there? You don't see it about the cow tipping over there? Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, because that sounds like very dangerous to me. Oh man, yeah. tipping the cows that can definitely go wrong in lots of ways. <laughs> yeah, There's so. lots of bad things that could happen to you trying to tip cows over. Mainly because they weigh like a thousand pounds. That's what's bad about <laughs> it. Yeah, I mean, you need like something like a big claw, like you know, in the in the games that you can grab the toys. You just need a <laughs> helicopter with a big claw. Come grab a cow, pick them up, <laughs> drop them off somewhere. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where. What, what else is going on? I haven't looked at too much. Uh, let's see here. What else can we? Let's look on Fox. Let's see what kind of death and destruction oh boy. is going on Fox. Oh, Cold War getting hot. Let's see here. Devastation in Mexico. Oh, it's, it's going to be all death and destruction. You know. Another te teacher sex scandal. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Sent nude pictures. What is with these? Oh, anyways. Um, I thought it was going to be another Fox News uh, scandal. No, no, yeah. no. That's getting old. That's like, I wouldn't believe in that shit anyways. Um, seems like one person uh, accused a whole bunch of people at Fox News. It's like, how does that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Everybody's it's, getting caught up popular. in popular. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, so that little that little trollop was pretty popular then, huh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> trollop. There's a trollop. Yeah, millionaire, Go millionaire CEO goes on profane tri tirade against neighbor Kathy Griffin. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise poor me. Kathy, yeah. poor little thing. Yeah, somebody should save her. Bless her heart. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not me. Hmm. Robert Kennedy's son okay. pays fine after Wild House party. Man, this is good stuff. Okay, here's something that I think <laughs> looks interesting that has nothing to do with guns. In okay. Arizona, like, you know how they always talk about Florida? Like, people in Florida are always doing stupid shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, this yeah. is Arizona now. Okay. I, you know, I always cringe when I hear people talking about the crap that we do in Florida because yeah, yeah, yeah. it makes us look bad. Arizona man tries to eat rattlesnake. Snake oh. bites back. <laughs> ah, bit him in the face and stuff? Yeah. God. Yeah. So uh, a Coolidge man remained hospitalized Friday after surviving a rattlesnake bite to the face oh. while trying to show off to his friends at a party by attempting to cook the reptile on the barbecue. On the barbie. So Victor Pratt, 48, has <laughs> been at Banner University Medical Center in Phoenix since September 7th. While celebrating his child's birthday with friends, Pratt said he decided to show them how to catch and cook a rattlesnake after one of the reptiles showed up in his yard during the party. This... What can I? Can I? Stupid this. I, I want to bet you something. He got bit twice. Was he liquored up or what? He had to uh, been. probably. <laughs> oh, he's man. like, watch this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he got bit on the face. Oh. Uh, and on the like on the torso, upper torso, uh. does not look good right now. Oh, so man. yeah. So like, I, I'm pretty sure rattlesnake venom breaks down the tissue that it's on. Oh, you get all like bloated up. And, yeah. So yeah. his face is probably melting right now. Oh god, that nasty. Uh, yeah, can't be good. That nasty baby. That that's, nasty. Yeah, that's a little bit disgusting. Yeah. Um. What else we got here? So hmm. looks like Billy Bush is losing his wife in that whole Trump grabbing by the by the the pus the pusswa. Yeah. Yeah. The JJ grabbing. <laughs> the that's making, that's making uh, Billy Bush is losing his wife over that apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. here's something on What Facebook. a terrible business. Terrible. Business. Here, man buys slippers on Amazon but finds they're covered in swastikas. stickers. <laughs> what? The, the pattern on the bottom of the shoe oh. has has a, what looks like a swastika. I don't know if it's on purpose. But, you know, it doesn't take much to offend anymore. Uh, where so. did they come from? Did it come from India? 
I have no idea. <laughs> Indians love Hitler, and I don't know why. No, it's not that they love Hitler. That's a symbol of That's peace. a symbol. It's an ancient symbol. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. They, they a, have, like, Hitler stuff all over. India, Hitler. I'm looking this oh, up. Well, that could be true. They um, literally have, like, pictures of Hitler. All Yeah, Hitler is a rock star in South Asia. No, really? <laughs> yeah. well, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, the like they'll put, like, his face on, like, posters and signs and stuff. I, I have no idea why. Was it because he was putting the swastika up everywhere? I don't know what it is. You know, I look at these shoes and I go, you have to, I mean, you can see it when you look for it, but I don't think it was purposely put on there. It's part of a, it's part of a pattern. So, yeah. you know, you go, oh, okay, yeah, okay, so what? Next. Yeah. <laughs> so this is from CNBC. It says, gun stock surge on report Trump is preparing to ease rules for overseas set overseas. Excuse yeah, me, sales but, of U.S. guns. Well, that's so, excellent. You know, that would be as a manufacturer, and I've had lots of people ask if I can export my stuff. Yes, I can, but it's a major pain in the in ass. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, and you know, not just for the big guys, which always are selling their stuff, but it'd be nice for us little guys, so we can go out and, as I say, spread the gospel, you know, and reap some of that money. Yeah. yeah. A lot of places were. What what we sell our stuff for here is cheap compared to what that same stuff costs in those countries. So yeah, um, um, let me uh, just remind everyone that's watching this to click the thumbs up button, click the like button, yep, like yep, the video, yep, share yep, the video yep. on social media. We appreciate that. We have a bunch of people. The chat is on fire, man. The chat oh, is just go going up to... like a ticker tape. Are they? <laughs> I can't, are they I can't trying... even keep up with it. The chat's just going like this. <laughs> what are they doing to each other? Um, no, people are talking about the snake bite. Um, you know, uh, they're like. You've got a short period of time. They, they're saying that the snake can uh, it can still bite you even after it's dead. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, sometimes when you get bit, it doesn't do the venom either. You don't yeah, get venom. You don't always get venomated. Always yeah. Venomate you. I have a friend, one of my childhood friends, who um has was bit three times by rattlesnakes, uh -huh. but I don't think he I don't think he got venom. I he didn't get the venom each time he got bit. So because yeah, bad. That's insane. Yeah. He yeah. got bitten on three separate occasions. Yeah, what was yeah. he doing? Living out in the country, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> on his barbecue. This is living dangerously. Living out in the country. God. Um, please tell me that wasn't Florida. Yeah, it wasn't Florida. It was. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, Floridians. I can always in, in the Lakeland area, actually. Yeah, that's always one of my concerns. We actually, our area, backing up to this lake, has had. Uh, a lot of sightings of rattlesnakes. Oh, I've seen rattlesnakes. Moccasins. I've seen water moccasins. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of those. We got I almost stepped on one one time. But yep. Yeah. It was it was cold out, so it was like out sunning. It wasn't moving itself very fast, so yeah, he died. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't. Yeah. There's oh man, I took care of a. I was proud of myself. I took care of a banana spider tonight. Which it, for anybody that likes spiders, fuck you. I hate spiders. <laughs> I Listen, absolutely face. hate you. Spiders. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ten more shirts for you that you'll never buy. <laughs> ten <different. laughs> ten different. Back, in, back in the woods behind our house, I you can see there, you could see a big banana spider like that, oh, literally yeah, like yeah, a, okay. a saucer, uh, in between some of the trees. A banana spider is dangerous. No, not at all. They, but I don't like them, and I don't. So what did you do? You got. Let me guess. You went out there with a shotgun. <laughs> oh my god! I wish I could have done that. No, I took the twenty-two and I sniped him. <laughs> Two shots, and I sniped him from the deck. <laughs> Mar Marley was out there. We were cooking dinner. Marley's out there sitting on the deck, and I hit him, and she's like, he just exploded. <laughs> yeah, now, see, I'm like, going to ask you a very important question now. <laughs> Did you get video? <laughs> you know I didn't get video. <laughs> was it suppressed? It was suppressed. Of course. Oh, awesome, suppressed. awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> oh, man, you could have gotten some video. Shooting a spider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get all the spider people. Uh, yeah. you'll, get, you'll get spider hate. I hate yeah. spiders. Like I, arachnia. Arachnia. Oh, I absolutely hate them. Yeah. One time, I was, you know, when you go out hunting and stuff, you're walking through the woods, there's all kinds of spider whips and stuff. And we're walking <laughs> along out in the woods, and I, I got a hat on, and I'm like, damn, what do I feel? And I take, I, I take my hat off, and there's a spider inside, and big old oh. spider in my head. It's like, yeah. no. I can't. Yeah, that. so... Here, here's a story that I don't know if you guys have seen this. Actually, hold on. Let me share this in our internal chat. It's Patrick the Spider Sniper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a Chris B sells, you know. Now you know why. Um, who is it? Um, oh, a Flame Warfare. That'd be cool for spiders. A flame yeah, now you know why Ooh. Spikes. Maybe that's why Spikes yeah. Tactical has a, um, you know. 
the spider, the spider in their the thing. Banana yeah. spiders? You mean the dueling yeah. penises? Yeah. You know, I know that there was a brown recluse on our property the other day. Mm -hmm. if anyone, yeah, I have no that. idea about that. Huh? We saw that one time we were out there shooting. There was one. Yeah. yeah. Patrick does not really like, for anyone who's, he's not even kidding. He does not like spiders. Everything else, he doesn't care. The other day there was a frog that came into the house when we were making a video, came in on something. I picked him up and threw him back out. Yeah. I don't he doesn't care, care about lizards, lizards or don't whatever. Bother, bother me. Snakes don't bother me. I picked up, yeah. we have a... Um, we have just like a black racer snake that lives in our yard and he's gotten over the last six months, he's gotten pretty big out there, but he's eating a lot of stuff out there. Yeah. Marley, <laughs> Marley is like deathly afraid of snakes. Like she freaks out even like thinking about them. So of course I saw him like the other day and I, I <laughs> grabbed him by the tail. and was like, look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> You're horrible. But one day she's going to get a banana spider do the same to me and I'm going to freak yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, um, Marley, Go buy a bunch of. She's gonna spiders. totally like get a stick with a banana spider on it, and I will freak. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Walter, we know how we can. We know how we can go viral now. <laughs> oh, God. Rubber, rubber spider. Rubber, now yeah. we know how we can make a video where we go viral. I mean, there was there was one time where it was one of those walking through the woods, and I, I, I had one of those like I wasn't paying attention, and Ed, like across the face, I screamed like a small child, a <laughs> girl. I literally screamed and like threw my hat on the ground and was like, oh, no. I was like a child again. It was horrible. I yeah. really hate spiders. Uh, Reven Ulfair says, kill it with fire. And despite what people think, USA has no spiders that are lethal to healthy young humans. Only children and elderly are at risk. I don't know, Mike. Well, that will totally include Babyface P. A brown recluse. Will... He is a baby and he's no, also yeah, brown recluse the elderly. <laughs> huh? The brown recluse. Yeah, I heard that. That'll mess you up. Yeah, the brown recluse. That's not. Um, we should have torched it, but it got away real fast. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I'm mean. I'm mean to the spiders around my house. So, yeah. so I've taken one out t today. I've taken one out with a with a 22 rifle, which I was impressed with. Um, I have a map gas torch, so I took another big one out with a map gas torch. <laughs> so flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not nice to spiders in my area. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So, do you are you a fan of the Spider Man movies? I see Spider Man totally cool. I don't care about that. As long yeah. as I don't get bit by a radioactive spider. Um, okay. A real spider anyway. <laughs> okay. Were you able to watch the Harry Potter with the uh, big ass spider in it? It it got me a little bit. Aragog. Yeah, Aragog. Yeah, it, it, I was oh, a little poor Aragog. He was a good, whatever, something like that. I can't remember the whole speech. About Aragog. Okay, so here's something that someone was asking me in the chat before we started. Go I think it. it was I think it was Lawrence Lerwick. He asked if we heard about how, um, I guess it's like in Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. They can search your home without a warrant, apparently. So there's there's some articles out there. Here's one that's on CSO Online it says Trump signs bill into law allowing warrantless search in parts of Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. Why would he do that? Uh, Tex, yeah, I don't know. Tex buried in a bill yeah, Trump like signed into thing. law reportedly means the government can enter and search private property without warrants in parts of Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. I don't know whether or not this is fake news. Or you've been yeah, trying to look was, into why it. Why were those areas singled out? That's yeah, this is weird. Yeah, I don't know. Now I did look at Snopes, which obviously Snopes is like Snopes. you know, as people were saying, it's run by by Democrats and liberals and stuff like that. So Snopes um, said has a thing. Did Congress quietly pass a bill allowing warrantless search of homes? Only Democrats. Um, and Congress passed a bill authorizing a transit safety committee that contained language one representative considered too broad and unconstitutional. So claim Congress quietly passed legislation allowing authorities to raid private property without a warrant. So their rating of that is mixture. So what's true? Congress passed legislation that rep Justin um, Amosh considers too broad and potentially unconstitutional. What's false, the legislation does not allow authorities all over the U.S. to conduct warrantless searches, as um, claimed by a number of disreputable websites. Sounds funny uh, to me. Yeah, what's undetermined, how the legislation could be interpreted for the Fourth Amendment in the future. So maybe, like... I, is, I, the Fourth Amendment is pretty cut and dry to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, according to this thing, it's murky what's going on there. And maybe okay. in like that's why folks are saying in uh, Virginia, Maryland and D.C. that you can do it. Um, 
you know, I mean, gotta look into that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that works. That I have to yeah. even more into it. Shut up and play your guitar. Says fake, fake, fake news. I think it could be fake news. You know, there's lots of that stuff floating around out there. I don't know. That could so, be. It's on the other side. It could be really bad. Yeah. So even Snopes is saying it's like a 50-50 thing. So some parts of that are true. Some parts are not. What are you showing, Walter? Are we showing? Are we doing gun porn? Oh, yeah. that's a nine mil right there. That is a Palmetto State Armory nine millimeter Glock that's mag. Nine mag. millimeter. Nine millimeter with a with a brace on it, which pistol. Um, it's the funkiest brace I've ever. It looks nice, but it's useless. Because everybody know everybody knows what you do with a brace, right? That's not yeah. kidding, buddy. It's not for the handicapped. For those five <laughs> handicapped guys. Are you complaining? Used, I'm, I'm not going to try to piss anybody off of your handicapped. You for those five handicapped guys that have used it, it's you know yeah. everybody does this, you know. So, but it sucks for that. So. Um, yeah. Now it was actually designed for a handicapped dude yes, because I met the, I met the dude who it was designed for. I've and talked I met the to guy the who designed it at Shot Show. Yes. Right. Yes. I'm not arguing that point, and it's a great premise. But there was also an ulterior motive attached to that, and they knew that when they did it. And once they got approved, all they saw was yeah. Dallas. Well, the other, well, the rest of us could be considered handicapped. We're handicapped by stupid ass rules from the. Well, well that's my point. The exactly. ATF. We are what, handicapped what is, what by that. Thing, what does this thing look like? Come on, everybody. Yeah. What does it look like? It looks like a brace. It's a yeah, <laughs> yeah, wise guy. It's fifty fifty. <laughs> Should we run it by Snopes? You can <laughs> snope it any stock. What what really concerns me more than the fact because the bright that's coming off. I'm gonna put one of my stocks on it. You're actually, making it a SBR. I'm gonna put it with a tail hook on it. Actually, tail hook with a collapsible stock. But um, I bought that, the, that Glock, Mike, the Glock. Mike Bryant. By the way, by the way, Walter. Mike yes, Bryant sir. says, "Hey, I'm handicapped and I want a brace pistol." Hell yes, I'm gonna shoulder it. Yeah, well, see what I thank you, Mike. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest, and that's what Trump is. Let's be honest. What's the real part part of part of it? It's funny how they've come along to from the the original the original ones were hideous. Oh yeah. my god, they were ugly. Now it looks like a yeah, exactly. Yeah, they look exactly so, like a stock. And well, one thing I'm finding though is the Korean mags don't want to go into Magwell. I've never tried one of those. I've always been curious about them. Yeah, that's interesting. So um, every Korean, you've got a bunch of Korean mags. I've got three here. We call here, them clocks. I call them clocks with a K. Including this drum mag. And it's it don't want to go. It starts to, but it stops. I have a feeling the Korean mag is chubbier. Bang it in. Bang it in, Walter. <laughs> that's what she no, said. No, not banging it in. The only, <laughs> thing, only, only one thing you bang in. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Chris B is asking the cyclic rate of the Chris Vector. Um, it's like 600... Double that. It's 1,200. 1,200? Oh. 1,200 RPM. I was thinking more like nine, so. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's just put it this way. It's fast as fuck. It's fast as fuck, <laughs> and it's <laughs> controllable. It just makes your cheek vibrate. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, and Walter, it's Walter hates it. Walter hates I it. I didn't say that. You sorry. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> I don't have well, to okay. say that. I don't have to say the bad words anymore. I just say bless your heart. It's the same thing. <laughs> okay, what did you say, Walter? What what did you say about it? Um, it's nice, but it doesn't get I'm not gonna pay two thousand bucks for it, sorry. What about okay. ten millimeter? I mean ten millimeter. It that's like it's like a great hunting round. You could just blow down yeah. a wild boar with it, just brrr. <laughs> ten millimeter? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> um, <laughs> Walter, remember we were what, talking what, about yes, yes, baby yes. face behind his back yesterday? <laughs> What'd you remember say about him? What'd you remember say? Remember what him? we said about him that we went to do this video and Babyface uh, uh only brought like 75 rounds? Oh, okay. It's yeah, all yeah. it's literally all the ammo I had. <laughs> I okay, so there's two sides of this. One side is, oh, you only brought like 75 rounds. The other side is I gave you my last 75 rounds of <laughs> last time. <laughs> the last 75 rounds. Poor baby face, he is now roundless. I am now 45 <laughs> broke, and I need okay, somebody to ask you a somebody, question. You, okay, in that video, everyone, could, you you shot at least 75 rounds. Yeah, Was probably. it, did, did you regret it? Yes no, or no? No, not at all. Yeah, they, okay, that's there you go. Question. Why would I ever regret that? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I like shooting all, that's the that's first time I ever touched one of those things, so. Mm -hmm. It was cool, I mean, I knew about them, I, you know, like, but once again, it's like, it's cool. Yeah, but you okay? So, but you obviously weren't impressed. I you think, know that it's not belt fed, so you know. I think uh -huh. it's uh, as a toy for the civilian. Nah, 
I think it has its place with like spec ops, especially that. In nine millimeter, yes. I don't even know that forty five is awesome. <laughs> if we all, if we all could carry, if we all could carry full auto, I would totally carry wow. one in my car, man. Why not? That yeah. It would make a nice truck gun. It's heavy. Wow. I think it's kind of awkward myself. Actually. Oh, I loved it. I'd rather have, yeah. I'd rather have a not, that was have a, a, that wasn't really that bad. That's an SBR. That really wasn't that bad, and that's the whole purpose of what it was designed. I'd rather have for. something this size, actually. To be honest with you, full auto. We need yeah, to put it. Guess, guess what? Do you have a uh, nine mil conversion for the M16? You have one of the drop-in blocks. Uh, I have all the parts for one. We should we I mean, should drop in like one like one of those Han converters that you put in. I mean, I can drill. I can. I can drill an extra hole here. I guess so. Yeah, we should, because I, I would like to try it, like realistically. And I was, I've always wanted to try nine mil in an AR full auto. Yeah. I mean, I could. This thing could easily be turned so, into a machine gun. So. Well, guess what? Guess what came into the uh, store today? I didn't. Oh, I didn't take new. it out. Angstead Arms made a nine millimeter Glock using, and they sent one to Big Daddy Guns that is full auto. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So, so, so good news, Hank. I just finished reloading like oh, yeah, don't twelve hundred rounds of nine mil. We're we're, we're ready to go. Nonsense! Don't try to trick me. I'll take you downstairs. I'll show you like the ammo crate. We got. Let's I got see it right now. I want to see it right now. I want to see. Is it uh? Is it loaded hot? Uh, see, that's the problem. Is it's pistol ammo, so it's not crazy hot. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, you may some... need you may need like uh, SMG ammo for it. That's when it's really fun because then they really run like a scalded dog. Oh my and... god! Yeah, the. the uh, what was the one that we ran? Yours, you had um, the PPS forty. One of them we were running that had hot SMG nine nine mil SMG in it, and it was it ran fast. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, this thing could be made. Probably, by the way, yeah, low shelf. We did yeah. get some grief for um, leaving that uh, what you call it on the suppressor. The suppressor on the gun, you mean? Yeah, well, no, we got a little bit of grief because, um, you know, the way we had the suppressor. We oh, had, yeah, yeah. I, we, oh, we so it, it was reciprocating? Happened. Yeah, you can see it reciprocating in the yeah, video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah. it'll for, it'll survive the 200 rounds we put through it. Yeah, for anyone who's it. wondering, it's a, it was a PTP 45 yeah. um, Ranger. You can find or me an AR maker to make the Trump yeah. booster lower. <laughs> um, yeah. Or, we, yeah, so, when we put that when we put the can on it, we knew that it still had the spring in it and it was going to reciprocate. Yeah. yeah, that was something we knew was going to happen. That's all we had, I guess. Right? Yeah. yeah. DC Mega Boost says that 10, 10 millimeter would be sweet. Um, Babyface, oh, wow. have you have you shot anything ten millimeter yet? I never have, and I really want to. Yeah, but and how I much really is that ammo going to cost us? Oh didn't, God, so much money. <laughs> didn't, H, yeah. didn't HK make an MP5 in ten millimeter? Uh, yeah, they made the the oomp, I think the UMP. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean the regular MP5. Oh, no, yeah, I think you're right. They think they made a ten mil MP5 like for the FBI or something like that. Yep, back when yeah. the FBI was still using real yeah. calibers. That yeah. was early '90s, I think, when they went to ten millimeter. Right? Before yeah. they switched over to the the forty short and weak. <laughs> well, <laughs> them nuts. <laughs> just so, just uh, FYI, um, Big Daddy Guns, they are getting a ten millimeter vector. Which is going to be cool. Full auto. Um, we're going to have to definitely get some people to help us out with that ammo. Are they going to start <laughs> doing like rentals? What are the, what's their what's their idea behind these? Uh, it might um, be that, you know, they're they're obviously demoing it to uh, police oh, departments and stuff like that. Yeah, stuff. That's yeah. what you're supposed to do. But right. they will they will take folks out and uh, you know. If there's people buying stuff from the store, people who are interested in these kinds of things, they'll take Corporate them out. Parties. Yeah, oh, and we'll probably. Parties. We'll probably make some plans somewhere down the line here where we uh, do some kind of event with Big Daddy Guns and folks can come out and hang out with Walter, us. Walter, just wait. When my bachelor party rolls around, whenever that is, I'm going to be calling you, you with like $1,000 cash and I'm going to be you, like... Are you trying to announce something to us? Let us blow shit up. Not oh. yet. Not yet. Nothing to announce oh. yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sometime. But eventually... Sometime in there. 2055. 2018, <laughs> whatever it happens... <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming with like a thousand dollars, and we're all gonna just blow through. Everything. Okay, you all heard it here. <laughs> yeah, back in yeah. the old days, you got a thousand dollars worth. You went through a thousand dollars worth of blow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, like that uh, what's that thing? What's the uh, what is that thing about Vegas with those guys? What, what the sleep? What is it? The hangover? The hangover? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, anyways, um, I also got a uh, one of those dreaded. Uh, uh, 
AR tens from Palmetto State too. How would you think of it? Well, yeah, where is I mean, it? Let's see it. I I, I set that shop. I didn't bring it home. Oh, did it look good? Yeah, so far. I mean, I haven't fired it yet. But we'll do that. Oh, uh, so yeah, I was going to ask you about the DDI shotgun as well. Uh, how would you feel about yours? The DDI one? Remember, I texted you this today about yeah, the DDI. Yeah, 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 yeah. One hundred and thirty dollars. Oh, 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 the the set, like centerfire selling. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's. It's, a, I feel like it's no. There's brainer, some right? reason why that thing is going that cheaply. It's Has primitive. It's primitive. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, Did you buy one, Babyface? No, I haven't yet. I'm thinking about it though. There, yeah. mine. There's parts on it. That's looks right. like it was ground with a hand grinder. <laughs> for the, the fitting part and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. It you works. Have the same. You have the same exact one, Walter, or you have a different one. It's the That's same. A, it's the same one. The same one. That's oh. the. It looks like a. It looks like a sporting shotgun with a magazine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Did, it, okay, so did you pay that? Did you pay one thirty for it? One thirty nine. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. And I chopped the barrel off. They're, it's, they have them for one twenty nine right now, which is stupid. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think you should probably get it. I mean, before I, before, I, before I cut the barrel off, it was working all right. It, it no, likes it likes high brass ammo too, by the way. Too. That's okay. So I did read some some stuff online that said high brass is what I prefer. Um, since I cut it off and I had to open the gas port up, I think I got to put a heavier extractor spring or something. It's not extracting right, but Tony Ru enough? Tony Rumor back in the day when they were importing those back in the '90s or early 2000s, he did one and he did the same thing. He opened the gas ports up and put a heavier spring in the extractor and it worked. So funny enough, those were the two problems that I heard was uh, the re reliability is if you shoot high brass, it likes it better. The extractor spring is terrible, so they everybody's like, replace the extractor spring, and, and the uh, gas port needs to be opened. And when the yeah. pocket the pocket where the extractor sits, mm -hmm. it's like it's hitting and pushing it away. It almost needs yeah. to be I – need to, I need to get that Chinese file out. So exactly. It, so, I, so, it, so it feels friendly. <laughs> <laughs> and file that pocket deeper, and then I think it'll yeah. work better. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, from what I hear, from what I was reading online today, a lot of people were saying it's – you know, same thing. But yeah. for that price, you, you know, can't really lose. I mean, come on. And at worst come to worst of it, never I can't get it to work again. We'll take it out and we'll shoot the bastard. Yeah. I, at that price, <laughs> at that price for your future bachelor party or whatever, you, you can buy the one. Shit out of it, yeah. Yeah. No, you can buy one for everyone. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna buy everybody a, a shitty Narinko Chaka. <laughs> um Lawrence <laughs> Lerwick. <laughs> That's what we need. Lawrence Lerwick says once you shoot ten millimeter, you'll never go back to nine millimeter or forty five oh again. God, I know, I know. I, I want to. I want a, a ten mil real pad. I want um, a brand ten, <laughs> but ugh, uh, they're so expensive. Al Chervik said uh, PSA had a kick ass clearance sale on the Springfield XDM compact. In forty S and W for two ninety nine today. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Um, I think Palmetto State. He says he them. detests um, uh, Springfield Armory, but could not pass on the deal. Stainless slide. Yeah. No, um, there's five, some good. Five twenty nine was the cheapest he could find it before. There's some good so. prices on some handguns out there. You just gotta be. You just gotta wait till it pop up. But. Yeah. yeah. Prices are coming yeah. down, Palm man. There's lots Palm of good deals out there. Palmetto State sells stuff really cheap too because they I have don't... to. Uh, yeah, how do they get away with that? They're they got a their business model is move it, move it, move it, move it. Yeah, they it. can't keep they can't keep that inventory in the warehouses, so right. it's got to go. This this here was less than five. Yeah, which is nuts so, because yeah. when I built mine, mine was sitting at like a thousand or twelve hundred. Yeah, yeah was, that that AR ten was the dealer price for me was six thirty nine. Yeah. So how can they, how can they argue with that? You know. Yeah. I mean, like so, if it shoots sideways. <laughs> well, I mean. I, I mean, be it's gonna function. It's gonna work, and it right. it might not be a, a half MOA gun, but it's gonna do the trick. It's gonna. Yeah. Run. Also, Walter yeah. can do operations to it. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Walter, I think yes, this sir. is Mike Bryant. He wants to know. Um, dream gun. Yeah, one year Walter Keller from Safety Harbor Firearms. What's your dream gun? If I could have what, any. What do you call a unicorn? Yeah, what's your unicorn? Oh, that's unattainable. Unattainable. Bo -bo -bo -bo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, I'd like to have the. Uh, I know what you should say. Spikes tactical compressor. Oh fuck that! Um, <laughs> <laughs> I could put one of those together for. Do it. Uh, it doesn't get me excited. Um, FG forty two with original scope and all the all the all the accessories. Full German auto, engine. ready to go. FG forty two World War two mint That's condition. Like Two hundred thousand dollar gun. Yeah, that'd be swing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's simple. My problem with things like that is you can't shoot them all that much. Ammo, like you can't find ammo for that thing. You have to make your own, don't you? No, no, you can. Sh um, no, you can shoot eight millimeter in that. Um, um, yeah, you probably wouldn't shoot it that much because you break it. Oh God, yeah. could you imagine? Yeah, there's the parts are. Yeah, they're hard to get. You almost you, have to. If you break a part, you need to go to a lathe and make your own part. <laughs> yeah, and they had the FG42 was in continual state of evolving as they were producing them. So there's. Mm -hmm. Earlier parts don't fit on certain guns and yada yada yada. So, yep. um, MP MP44 would be nice, a nice pristine MP44. Those are cool. You ever uh, shot one of those? Yes, I have actually. <laughs> very very nice cyclic. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, yep. dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Super uh, controllable. Yeah, because they're heavy guns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see what else. Uh, you know, Chris lately Paul I think says M279 grenade launcher for oh, him. Oh, you know, really? Actually, boom 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 boom. Mark 19. Yeah, <laughs> with, all ser with all seriousness, with all seriousness, actually, all, all kidding I, aside, this this will be mine, Gatling gun, and the like story. Like old crank, yeah, Colt Gatling. Yes. Yeah, that could be. They, you, can, you can do that. Yeah, you, know? you can build one of those. Yeah. You can buy one. You can buy one, but they're like forty thousand dollars. Well, you, you, know, you gotta trade that truck in and just get a That's Gatling right. gun. Trade the truck in. Yeah. Gatling gun. Yeah. yeah, I. You know what? I would probably do that. <laughs> 308 Gatling gun. <laughs> um, you know, I could fit a Gatling gun in the back of the Challenger. Oh, yeah, oh, I could. God. I don't know about you, but I could. <laughs> and the facts in the front seat and the back seat. And the yeah. That's yeah. something we need to get. We need uh, a, a Big Daddy needs to get their hands on an AA-12 so we can try it. Yeah. Or, 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 or Safety Harbor. Or Safety Harbor. Safety Harbor, you get yourself an AA-12. Yeah. Well, yeah. Safety, Har yeah. Safety yeah. Harbor should have because Walter just said we can he can do a Gatling gun anytime. So challenge <laughs> on Walter. So check this out. I've got the uh, KV thirteen Krebs. mod two Krebs. from Krebs. Krebs. Yep, yeah. with the um, a chaotic suppressor on it. I need to shoot that again. You know, we had Krebs. We had Mark Krebs on the show. Shout out to all the folks at Krebs. They've got like a yeah. whole bunch yeah. of stuff going on. We might have them come back on the show, but you know, I figured I'd just show this off again. They've grown on me actually. Oh, you like this? I mean, I like this. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, you should call them up, man. I think they've got a few of these. You can call them up and ask for the Hank Strange discount. I don't know. That <laughs> <laughs> you double. Yeah. yeah. See what happens to you. <laughs> yeah. I have to you lube know, my back. I think back you'll get it. No, I think you. No, with all seriousness, I think they'll. You know. A minigun, Lawrence. They'll Larry, do something uh, for you. Minigun. Miniguns are cool. Um, Stoner. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Shut up and play your guitar. Yeah. Stoner sixty three with all the goodies. Is that the yeah. uh, three oh eight. It's in, not. No, it's two twenty three. Oh. That's a two twenty three. Okay. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal, but I want to have a Tech Nine. <laughs> I could see Hank. With you know how it got quiet. I want, <laughs> I want two Tech Nines. Oh, do you uh, wait? Do you have a Tech Nine? No. no, no. Oh, well, oh, you don't care for the Tech Nine. Oh, no, I take. If I, I, I told you before, if I could find one that somebody didn't want to retire on, yes, I would buy it just to have it. Um, I had them in the past, but I sold them. So. We have. So, um, I have access to a Tech Nine. If you want to shoot one. Okay. Yeah, keep it, but I can borrow it for you. Yeah. What's I mean, the going, not that exciting. What is the going price of a Tech Nine? What or what would you, what do you think much. is fair to pay for a Tech not Nine? Much. Not that bad. No, they're cheap, I think. Yeah. Are you talking full auto, real deal Tech Nine? Oh, a KG9 is full auto. KG9. Yeah, is that what you're talking about, Hank? You want a real deal KG9? Um, yes. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> That's another story though. <laughs> That's a different price range, yeah. Um, no, I like to sh I like I never shot it. Speaking of fast 45s, the 1928 Thompson, mm -hmm. I'd the like original to shoot ones. One they run like that. Chris Vector does. Yep, I'd like to shoot one. Oh, those are badass. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Tommy gun. Yeah. Yep. A real one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've shot one before. A yeah. fast one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, are you and, trying um, to you bragging or what? Um, <laughs> it was at the FBI. It was at the oh, FBI. Okay, that's when right. we, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. When we went up to the FBI. And they had a grease gun there, and I didn't realize it. So not I, very I, exciting. Da, da, yeah. Da, da. yeah, I didn't see it until they were putting it back in the safe. The Sten parts over here doesn't give a shit about these boring cheap yeah, guns. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse that, me. Well, that's uh, like uh, a, a World War II M1 Thompson. They're real slow too. Like pop, 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 pop. Yeah, they dropped this. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. They're, I mean, I shot one. There, it's like, okay, that's cool. Next. Oh, man. <laughs> It's so jaded over here. <laughs> yeah. Now you want to shoot a fun gun if you like AKs, an RPD. The belt fed RPD full auto. There's some. There are a bunch of people that have those. Well, a bunch of people. There, those there are, are more. Post common than a lot of post samples out there, but yeah, there are a ton you, of post samples out there. You could just stand there. Just yep. And it don't it don't move hardly at all. That's cool. Um, yeah. Shut up and play a guitar. Says there's a 1928 Thompson two miles from his house. 
um, at the Tommy Gun Warehouse. Ah. I don't know what that is, but it sounds yeah. cool. Sounds Wait, like a strip club. Says he uh, loves the M3A1 grease guns. The Tommy Gun Warehouse sounds like a, a weird strip club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd go there. The Tommy Gun Warehouse. I totally. Kenny, come on down. Yeah. The DC2 Megaboo says he remembers the Intratech Tech 9s. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. So those are the other ones, right? Those are the cheaper ones you're saying? The Tech 9s are, yeah. That, the, the, the KG9 was the original. What the Tech 9s pattern. What they built it off of. Right yeah. I, I'd like to have, why not have all of them? Sure. Why not? Yeah. 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 Have I, mean, I, like, I like the cheap sub guns too. You know, even the, every, like I said, we always talk about the, uh, about the, I think uh, I think the Tech Nine that I have access to is one of the pre-changed ones because at one point I thought they made Intratech change the design so you couldn't make it full auto so easily because the original were, set of of Tech Nines you could basically like I don't know if the original uh, ones were open bolt like a Mac Ten I, I think know. they were they might have yeah. been yeah and I think the one that I have access to is an open bolt one which, open bolt looked cool I had an yeah. open bolt Mac Ten that I bought um, uh, uh, um, those cool. low through ammo. <laughs> yeah. I think shut up and play your guitar says that the um, that the Tommy Gun Warehouse is the Car Arms Factory. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Car yeah, car yeah, makes yeah. nice guns. I like their stuff. Cool. Um, right. And then Mr. Holster says no one would remember a Tech Nine if not for Archer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that Archer's favorite gun? I don't, know. I don't remember, uh, but I know I've seen it in the show. Yes, I yeah I've seen it several yeah. times on the show. I'm not sure that that's his favorite gun. I know that he likes turtlenecks, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what his favorite guns are necessarily. Yeah, I don't know. On the thing. So let's see, what other news do we have out there? Did you guys see any news? Babyface, what have you been uh, up to? No, no. Today, I, I, today I, was going like a, I was going from one thing to another all day long. It was like pulling my freaking hair out. Yeah, Yeah. I, I took the day off yesterday from work, so today was just a catch-up day. And it was nuts. Oh, you were just hanging out yesterday, huh? Oh, yeah, I was just doing nothing, you know. Yeah, just <laughs> hanging out. Officially doing should, nothing. Should have been loading ten millimeter. Oh god, he was gold. He was he's gold probably gold. loading nine millimeter. For what he's saying about the nine millimeter is true. Yeah. Oh, here's oh, another. Oh, uh, Lola said someone someone uh, keyed her in. It's Lana's gun. Is the she has the? Oh, Lana that's right. She's that's got right. actually. She has two of those. I think. Nines. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Lana. Which one is she on there? That's she's the black, black chick. Yeah. Hey, can I both? Oh, the big girl, the, the thick girl. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. She's, she's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't complaining. <laughs> yeah, you know, I definitely was not complaining. Flint Armory CSA 45 carbine. I guess it's a new 45 carbine. Oh, I think I've seen that before. Do you know what I've always wanted? And this is a weird kind of half-acidly crazy thing. I want a bolt nine millimeter. <laughs> A bolt? No, that's not. That's not crazy. I want a bolt nine. I don't a bolt nine that. with a can on it, man. Be yes. like, be quiet. Yeah, that's what I want. That's really what I want. Yeah, yeah. that's like a bolt. That's like a bolt action uh, black uh, three hundred blackout. It's like, pfft. yeah, yeah. I would love one of those. Something like that. I want or, a, uh, or a Delisle carbine. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's old bolt forty uh, fives. Yep, 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 yep. Um, let's see here. Someone's got to figure out. You know, someone's got to make a make bolt that. action bolt action nine millimeter with a Glock mag. There you go. <laughs> That would be I, – I would buy that. Somebody Did anyone see on uh, the firearm blog, I think I saw it some other places, Fab Defense came out with this tactical sniper bench. Did anyone else see that? Tactical, tactical sniper bench. Yeah, I'm going to send you guys a link to this. It's from Fab Defense. I think this is pretty cool. Here, let me put it in the chat so people in the chat can see what I'm talking about. I, I was trying to find a price. I couldn't find a price on it. But I know we were shooting over Revin, the weekend. Revan, so. just so you guys know, farts louder than a Delisle carving. <laughs> so he says, "This is yeah. this is what we need. This is what we. Oh, uh, this is not exactly what we need. I take that back." Yeah, I don't know what the price is on it, but it looks interesting. Yeah, you see yeah. where uh, Kalishnikov is. Kalishnikov concern launches gun care chemicals and lubricants. Oh, okay, everybody's getting into the gun yeah, care lubricants yeah, again. Yeah. Let's see here. You know, um, we are totally 100% happy with Rand CLP. <laughs> Just let it be known. <laughs> Just for the record. Yeah. How about, no oh, by the way, I lubed this thing up this afternoon with some Rand products. So nice. yeah, there you go. Yes, it came dry as a bone, literally. It was like. Yeah. And they I need to start making you so. dudes like have your Rand. I should also have my Rand products right here on the table in the studio. Should have them attached to the side of your of your hat. There. <laughs> 
<laughs> all yeah, going, all the way, except for the <laughs> Trump chicken, that rooster, just have them all going around like <laughs> Trump rooster right there. Yeah, there Trump groups are represented. You never, um, you didn't. Babyface doesn't have one of these people. I, I don't. I don't. So, yeah. he, he, he you, were talking sure. about, you were talking about giving him one on Saturday, and what did you do? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll, next time I see you. Next time I we see you. We were all dead by the hey, end of Saturday. Did you see this on the firearms blog? Home built hardware store bolt action 357. What? Uh, no, it sounds cool, though. Isn't that from your buddy? Um, uh, what are you trying to say, Trigger? Isn't isn't that isn't that from isn't that from your buddy? Isn't that from your buddy? What's his name? From uh, 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 hang on, don't don't be <laughs> don't be associating me with um. You, anyways, <laughs> you saw it. You so did, we'll you check it. it. Um, no, I didn't see it. No. Oh, I, I saw Patrick laughing. I mean, it's like I'm laughing at you for who I assume that is made by. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this was on the firearm blog? Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it is. Yep, scroll down. Keep going down. Past the Russian... Why, okay, uh, why did they put this in here? Why did they tease me with this? They, I want a... I, if anybody out there is selling a 300 Black Handy rifle, you tell me right now, and I'm going to come drive and buy it. What? I've been wanting one of these damn things for years, and they stopped making them. AAC stopped producing them. And Andy I want one so goddamn bad that I don't I can't know what you're it. talking about. Now. Yeah, I don't either. Now it's the first. If you go to Firearm Blog, it's the first post on the Firearm. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, single shot for AAC, AAC 300 black. The, the, oh, H and R handy rifle. Yeah, it's the the break action single shot. Uh, oh, 300 black. Um, it's yeah, you know super what? freaking cool. Yeah, you know what? Anonymous has a bunch of those, but I don't think he has 300. I'm not black saying out. what you're talking about, but if you go to FirearmBlog.com, it's the first Blackout. article. Yeah, it's the first article. I'm seeing the thing about uh, spirit. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Three fifty-seven gold dot. Um, I will copy it and send it to you, your highness. Oh, yeah. I'm, one? I'm, I'm looking for this gun. Where is this? I'm there you go. It's in the chat. Go look at it. I'm seeing um, the, the bench. Let's see here. Let's go back. Google Hangouts. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just copied it and put it in the chat. I see the thing about your fab arms thing, but. Are we boring everybody? You guys tired of hearing this rant, uh, relentless rant? <laughs> Here we go. P O T D, whatever that stands for. Post of the day. Post of the day. Home built hardware store bolt action three fifty seven yeah, yeah. mag. Okay. Do you want us to read this article? Are you sure? Meredith Maidem says he has a thirty out six handy H and R. Yeah, there's a bunch of those. I don't have any. I I know mm. my brother does. He likes. That's just those. a break open, like a break open shotgun, right? Yeah, yeah. it's it's one. Yeah. Of, it's like their topper. You know, the break open toppers that they yeah. make. Now, um, I think, think three hundred black, uh, ready to go with a threaded barrel for a can. Yeah. Super quiet. Ugh. Yeah, I think. Um, Get up and dance. I think that um, I don't know how similar that is to. I have one of those. Um, TC Arms has the encores that are break opens, but I think those are more expensive, right? The H and Rs are more affordable. Uh, the H and Rs yeah. when they came out were like sub three hundred bucks. Yeah. Now, if you want one, they're like five hundred because they're collectible. I have an H and R uh, muzzle loader actually that breaks like that. We put the yeah, yeah, yeah. So why are we why are we dissing on this? I don't know. I don't know. The topic came up in the discussion about an odd and obscure silencer host. The silencer itself is also a home design built form one specimen. Love the engraving. Home built thirty eight special three fifty seven mag single shot bolt action. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All parts awesome. are made by hand from items purchased at Lowe's except the barrel. Uh, which was a leftover piece from a previous project. Pistol grip leftover from a AMD 65 and a scope mount that he had sitting in a parts bin. So who built this? Uh, some guy on ARFCOM. Okay, Apparently, it looks like a um, uh, member Gary D. I don't okay. know, Gary D. Garrett. Garrett? Oh, Garrett? Garrett? Yeah. Garrett? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Gary's D cool. is all over ARFCOM. <laughs> uh, are you not a fan of AR-15? Dot com. No, no, I, I like I like AR fifteen. Okay. I I've sold a lot of stuff through their through their transaction thing. Okay. Seriously, cool. if it's anybody's got a three hundred black handy rifle, you call me. <laughs> <laughs> and how are they gonna call you exactly? <laughs> uh, you find a way. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Post sure. on one of Hank's videos. I got a I got a handy rifle for sale. <laughs> oh yeah, post it on one of my videos. Hey, we'll, you get we'll in touch with him we'll ten watch. years from now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. We'll get in touch with him. Hey, did you see on on on, on the firearms blog too, where they took the uh, eight seventy TAC fourteen and put a put your can on the end, shotgun can. 
Oh, oh no, no. Oh, it's Silent to Cole. <laughs> Your, uh, uh, the, what is it called? God, what's it called? Silent to Cole. Um, um, oh, the, uh, your the, tanks, the, the, your, your, your the shotgun suppressor. Yeah. yeah what is yeah, that yeah. thing called? Um, um that, yeah, yeah. Can't remember either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it looks no, pretty cool. I, I can only maintain so much information. <laughs> I know that's in why this, I can't remember either. So in this brain Salvo's of well. mine, Salvo. There Salvo, you go. The I knew I, I was going to remember what it was. I guess I'll need to um, thread it in on my bird. Yeah, I'm going to remember it once I tell it to you. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Salvo. Yeah, that's yeah. It. yeah. Uh, some 803 salad shooter already said it. So um. Or this small. is in routers. Russia unveils monument to designer of iconic AK-47 yeah. rifle. Kalishnikov, yeah. Yeah, so Russia on Tuesday unveiled a statue of Mikhail Kalishnikov, inventor of the AK-47 assault rifle. I mean, Why that's, not? Kind of, that's kind of like, you know, saying that Columbus discovered America, but okay. Whoa, right. whoa, 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 whoa. What are you trying to, are you trying to tr Columbus didn't discover America, by the way. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but the Kalishnikov did I call bullshit AK, on that. So, uh, um, yeah, uh, da, 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 so yeah. Well, there's somebody Perched else. Perched atop a pedestal in a tiny square on Moscow's busy garden ring thoroughfare, the statue of Kalishnikov, who died in 2013, has him dressed in a bomber jacket and clutching an AK-47 in both hands. Yeah. So here's a question. Who, uh, who actually stakes their castle nuts? There's a post on here about staking a castle oh, on, oh, on oh, your oh. AR-15s. I don't think oh, I've ever you're supposed to do that. I've never done it, but I found it on a factory-made gun, though. I found it. Yeah, you find it on like a Colt or something, but I have uh, never staked a castle nut in my trying life. Trying to remember the name of that the brand <laughs> that gun run. I cussed that thing all the time, taking it off too. Yeah, it's paying like, son of a bitch. Damn it, Joe. No, I've never done it. No. Yeah, I've, I've never done it either. No. Um, by the way, I got to stand, um, you know, a couple feet away from. Mikhail Kalishnikov um, at the SHOT Show one year. Oh, so, did, you take, did you get any pictures? I did not that time because I was too enamored to do any of that. <laughs> By the way, I smelled his fart. I was right next to him. I know him. I'm basically friends. Can you just imagine like Walter geeking out on, on Kalishnikov? I really can't, which is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Walter getting all like pink and, yeah. uh, you know, yeah, flustered. Over, over. Not being able to say <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Just, no, I would totally do the same thing for, for Kalashnikov. That dude's awesome. Yeah. yeah, I mean. Hey, I'm not, you know. We we I'm not sure, you know, that hundred percent that he invented everything with the rifle, but hey, you know, I guess well, you no, know he what? Of, he doesn't admit he, to it, but I'm, he took a lot of stuff from the obviously. Germans. Obviously, yeah, he's got the uh, muzzle nut on the end, which is a German thing. And um, if you ever see one of his interviews, he's always like, God, no, I would never take anything never. from the Germans. <laughs> <Never>. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> never. <laughs> and, yeah. Anyway, so that's all right. That's cool, though. Um, and he also says that he wished he was, uh, you know, he was, you know, obviously he was a little uh, agitated because he didn't make any money as a result of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, that's my coin. You're on the wrong side, buddy. That's, that's right. all it is, you know. Communism. So yeah. well, that's how it goes. I mean, you know, but that's how it goes. But I mean, we can still give him props. He still gets to be the. Uh, he's yeah. one of the. He's one of the gods. Yes, the front runner. The front runner. He's one of the gods. Yep. yep. You know, I mean, it, what what else did he do after the AK? They came, well, he, he came out with his own line of vodka, I think, that was in the shape of an AK. Because <laughs> literally he made no money from the AK. Because, you know, I mean, for like for me, I like Kelgren. That's a living legend right there, man. Kelgren? Yeah, yeah, he's all right. Kelgren's yeah. come up with a lot of guns. He's no, yeah, but, guns. But, but he, a he didn't just make one gun. He made a lot. Now, it, are any of his guns iconic? No. Like the AK-47? No. Hells no. no. KSG is going to probably get there like 20 years from now. Well, not unless it's... Produced in millions. No. no. Yeah, you know, eventually. Browning. 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 Yeah, Browning, of course. Okay, hands down. John Moses yeah. Browning. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, those kind of guys. John um, John Ger yeah. Garand. One uh, year. Garand, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, one year, like, some. some but once again, he didn't, he didn't, he died a pulper too because he did it all for the Gulf, working yep. for Springfield Armory. So. And yeah. then, um, guy, what's the guy from Armalite? Um, Maybe M sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he's Stoner? Not, yeah, Stoner. Stoner, Eugene Stoner. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Stoner, yeah. um, 
the guy from MGI, I forgot his name. The guy that came up with uh, oh, yeah. Um, yes, uh, yeah, Bushmaster assault rifle yeah. and all that. Um, oh, yeah, Mike, uh, Matt Gwen. Gwen, Matt Gwen, Gwen, yeah, yeah, right, right. I don't right. know a lot That's about. A pretty him. smart guy. Yeah, he's come up with a bunch of stuff. You know. Yeah, I mean, so, there's a lot of good designers out there, definitely. Um, and a thousand years from now, Walter. What? Walter. Well, Keller you know, one thing you think about and that, his big, massive cranium will be. <laughs> On a plinth. You laugh, you, laugh, you laugh about that stuff, but that's kind of my, my, I guess, lineage, heritage, you know, da 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 you know. Yeah, after, you make, after you make so many guns, they're not going to go away. No, right. they'll oh, always be out there. You oh, know, so oh, they don't have my name on the side of it, per se. For reals, yeah. Oh, um, absolutely. So, yeah, that's something to think about, too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hopefully look, away. look, I'm getting a call from uh, Dimitri. Let me answer uh, it. Ask him if he's got a 50 caliber hey. scope. Hey, Dimitri. What's up, man? We are live. You are now live with Hank Strange, Hank Strange and uh, Walter Keller and Babyface P on the Who Move My Freedom podcast. How do you like that? Hang up quick. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're live. That's what happens. You call me. <laughs> the bewitching hour. I call it all. Yeah, now you're live. Uh, Walter wants to know what is a good scope to go. What's a good primary arm scope that can go on a fifty? Uh, probably the six by thirty Deca. The six by uh, thirty Deca. Yeah, that's what uh, Mike has on his uh, one oh seven. Six by thirty Deca. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, it's what we use to shoot out the one. Yeah. Six to thirty by fifty-six. I don't know if you ever saw that, but that is oh. a nice scope. Holy crap! Um, do you have yeah. a link? Oh, uh, da, 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 da. okay. It's let's a, see. So, how much is that? Oh, that's like a fifteen hundred dollar scope. It's yeah, out it's of part stock. of the platinum series. It's a nice. Oh, okay. So that would be a nice scope to go on on a um, on a fifty. You think, right? Yeah, that that scope would normally go for like three grand. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, that is a hell of a nice scope. Yeah, we're testing the uh, platinum series right now, so we're, that we're is all also loving it. A hell of a nice scope. Yeah, the one by one to eight. Yeah, and just to plug for anyone who wants to know, if you go look in the description, there's a bunch of primary arm scopes that you guys, if you follow the links through that, it's an affiliate link. You follow it, you can get free shipping plus the uh, mount or scope rings or whatever goes along with it. So go check that out. We have a bunch of things in there, including the platinum. So, um, and if anyone has any questions for Dimitri, let me know right now. And while we ambushed him and brought him online with us. <laughs> I, I thought you were joking. No, I'm not no. joking. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> we are live. We're on air right now, my friend. <laughs> and you're on the speaker phones. Uh, yeah, everyone wants you. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. well, everyone wants to know when you're coming back on the show. Michael Smith says Primary Arms has great glass. Um, and then Kalel says my 503G ACSS works great. Oh, yeah. Those are sweet. Yeah. You know, so there's so folks are waiting for you. Uh, Dimitri is the king of ACSS, says Al Chervik. So you got tons of fans on here, man. Tons of fans. So yeah, can you tell me what you call me for, or is this something I have to call you back off air? Because I sense I, sh I have to call you back. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're gonna laugh when I tell you what I was calling you for. Uh oh. Okay. All right. So I I will call you back. <laughs> okay. All right, brother. Peace. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Do we want to start winding this down? It's already nine yeah. o'clock. That's what happens when you call in on the show. That's what happens when you call me. <laughs> Inside information, I think. I know. Yeah. yeah, there's probably something that, you know, we're not allowed to talk to anyone about. But so, yeah, you know what? We have been doing this for some time. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, 803 Salad Shooter says, thank to Dimitri for sponsoring Cola Warrior. Um, Is that one of those uh, where they pair, like, a person up with a professional shooter? I, I think that's what that is. Might be. Let me see. I'm going to look it up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so Dimitri is not the owner of Primary Arms. He designs the reticles and stuff like that, and does a lot of the social media. He is the genius behind the Primary. Yeah, <laughs> and he sh and he shoots like every day. I'm sure he yeah. was. I spoke to him earlier today, and he was just coming out of the desert from shooting long distance. Probably pretty cool when you got that, you know, long distance in the desert. You just 
walk out your back door and you're in the desert. Yeah, well, no, he's got to drive out there. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm being a little facetious, awesome. but it's yeah. still pretty cool. But he goes out there. I think he goes almost every day because it's, you know, cathartic wow. for him to go out there and shoot long distance. Every day. Yeah, he, if not every day, he goes like every other day and shoots long distance, man. Wow, that's hardcore. And he's got a bunch of cool videos, you know. That's the one thing. If you want to see these optics it being used and all that stuff, okay, you can you can go check out Primary Arms on YouTube, and there's a crap um, – I literally mean it, a crap ton. A crap? Of it, all of their optics are awesome. Yeah, they've got videos on uh, – Dimitri has, like, tons of videos on every optic that they put out, so – Go check out his uh, YouTube page, and he's always putting stuff on up on Instagram and all that good stuff. Okay, so what do you guys have going on? Babyface, what are you up to? Uh, not a whole lot. we got to finish up that uh, review on the Platinum Series, maybe get something else in the works from Primary Arms, see if we can get some other optics in. Um, yeah, we've got to we yeah. I need to order – I still need to order a um, – I don't know, even know what it would be called. It's one of those clamps that goes on the top of a tripod, and you would clamp your gun into it. Okay. Uh, to help with reviews, I'm gonna have to look it up tonight. But yeah, I need to get one, so we okay. can we can make our reviews a little easier. It's trying to hold that for Lola. Or Lola and I stood out. Yeah, Lola or set, or like, send me a link to it or something. Hour. I'll try to get it. <laughs> it <was fun. laughs> we will use Patreon money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, thankfully. Oh, no. That's all I got. What about you, Walter? Us. Oh, what about me? I was just typing on the. I was just typing on the on the side here about uh, we got a new uh, SHF patch coming out. Plus, I have a cool uh, Flotus patch coming out, honoring the First Lady and um, and all her um, uh, sh shoeness. And, um, her shoeness. <laughs> shoeness. I like her shoeness, yes. Yes. And, um, oh, typical stuff. You got a little bit of a shoe fetish going for the First Lady, huh? Oh, if, if you don't have a thing going for the First Lady, you don't got a thing going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your thing is not <laughs> working, right? We, 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 we got a, we got a, a bonus. When we got her for the first lady, so <laughs> um, we went from. Well, anyways, um, we got a bonus. <laughs> yeah, don't start trouble. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we went from the show to start the, the nonsense. That, that will wind up being in a final fifteen minutes. Whatever <laughs> you put now is going to wind up on, in a she final was fifteen. Obsessed with the school lunchroom, and now we got a woman that you know, obsessed with some nice clothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> bless her heart. I love it. Um, <laughs> Oh, I've seen the pictures of her. Yes, I have. Somebody. I think uh, Michelle Obama was into. Um, she was into uh, like fashion and all that. The media just didn't make a big deal out of it. Yeah, the Obamas right. were into fashion. Yeah. They, yeah, they were into stuff. So. Bless your heart. Yeah. Which is hey, there's nothing wrong with that. So, uh, by the way, I have a good idea for a um, a patch. What's that? Can you say it, or you have to tell you me? You need to make. You need to make a North Korea patch. I got an idea. Just what mentioned what you did. I got an. If I can get a good, some good graphics of Kim Young bent over with a missile flying up his ass. Yeah, yeah we could do that. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh, now that I said that, one of, the, one of the people on the patch board is going to knock it off. I guarantee you, man. I tell you what. So. Yeah. Okay. Just you know what? If anyone does that before before you Walter to, does it, hey, some just of those, give us some props. Some of those Send it to you, us. You have to be a real artist to do some of that stuff. I'm not an artist, so. Yeah. Um, some of those guys are really good. Maybe I should take some time. I haven't done um I haven't done a lot of work, so you know, I haven't done a lot of art lately, so maybe I need to get, you know, get out there, get some work done, create come up with some patches and stuff like that. Someone just shouted Guyana. I don't know why. I don't know if someone asked where I'm from. <laughs> Rocket Man. Let's see. Or what that means. Uh you know. Uh E Rock so. wants you to send some nudes, please. Attend send nudes. Not That's of what me. He says right there. Send nudes, please. <laughs> oh, All caps. Of Walter? <laughs> <It's> not me. <laughs> Babyface, babyface, he's the sexy one. If you'd right like on. to see the first lady, it's all over the internet. So you know, <laughs> um, but that's you know that's nature of her business. So um, yeah, do you have? I think people want to know if you have a 1919. I have shoulder fire. Shoulder fire? No, I don't have one of those. Like the Marines modified them in the Pacific. They took a an A6 1919, the, the aircraft gun, and put a shoulder stock on them. But they didn't mm -hmm. stand. Most time they didn't stand and fire. They shot them from the ground. So, um, yeah. I have, I have a I have a semi nineteen nineteen, and I have all the stuff to do a full auto. I just haven't assembled it. So, yeah. You know. DC two mega boost says a patch with Dennis Rodman. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't, 
I don't know. Maybe some Dennis Rodman and, and, and Kim Young doing the getting the getting the nasty on or something. You know, I don't know. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Man, this is getting weird real quick, guys. I mean, like, see, there's, a, there's just too much disgusting out there. Squealing like a pig. You know <laughs> this is getting too weird. Too no, quick. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there are lines. <laughs> there are lines. <laughs> oh, oh, now you want to go deliver it, son of <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was in there in you somewhere. <laughs> oh, I just thought of another patch with him, too. Oh, yeah, cool. Lola wants to remind everyone that tomorrow Patrick R. is going to be on. Yep, yep. Other Patrick, not yeah, me. Patrick, Patrick R from the uh, Firearm blog, right? I got that right, Lola. Yep. Um, uh, Rodham Two C says, "Hank, you told me you were from Guyana. Yes, I am from Guyana." That's yep. Rod Mills. Oh, oh, that's oh, that's Rod Mills. Okay, there you go. I didn't know that. I can't see. It's a little tiny icon. I can't. You know. Okay, so that's okay. So that's hey, Rod. Think, know. Yes, I am from Guyana. Does Lola still have her lightweight polymer AR-15? Yes, she yep. does. It's still holding up. We were messing around with it. Um, let me see. Is it too late to get a rooster patch? That's for Michael Smith. What no. say you, Walter? Rooster no, patch? It's not, it's not too late. No. All right, rooster patch for you, Michael Smith. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Al Shervick says thanks to Lola Strange for something. Um, you know. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, Rod says let's don't all donate a box of ammo to Hank any caliber. Hey, I'm down. 41, uh, 40, 41 AE. 41, 41 AE. Yeah, that's thinking, yeah. Some obscure <laughs> caliber that nobody uses. <laughs> These uh, guys are totally insane. Here, send me some talk rev ammo. 768. Talk rev ammo is good stuff, yeah. yeah. I told the story about the guy that called the shop that had to get rid of the ammo before the storm, right? Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. And it was all brand new 9 millimeter and 22 long rifle. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so Lola wants me to remind everyone that Patrick R is coming on at 8 p.m. We're going to be a little late because, you know. Um, he's California time? That's, I don't think he's Texas. in California. I don't think he's in Texas. He's, he's in Texas. Texas. Yeah, Texas. he's in Texas. But, you know, he's got a whole bunch of things going on. So He's a busy man. Yeah. That's the best time for him. So we'll be on a little late. I'm sure Walter will be in the <laughs> chat chastising Tango, Tang him. Tango Hunter. Yeah, I did. Yeah, he will. Yeah. Yeah, Walter will be in the chat chastising. I'll be lurking. I'll be lurking. I'll be yeah, agitating. You're, you're yeah. welcome to come on, Walter. I don't know no, about it's Patrick. A, it, that's all right. Yeah. No, no, you guys can chat. I mean, you know, I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And on Thursday, for everyone, uh, Babyface, you might be interested in this. The owner of WMD Weapons is going to be on the show. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yep, he's going to be here talking about uh, Nibix, you know, the nickel boron mm -hmm. treatment. the kings of nickel boron. Huh? Nickel boron. I believe they're the kings of nickel boron. Yes, they are. They are the kings. They do it. They do nickel boron. You're a nickel boron. You hear me? You're a real nickel boron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, so um, they, he's going to be on on Thursday. Walter, you should definitely be here. Baby yeah, I want to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't know what you're going to be up to, but I think it'll be a good show. He's going to talk. He's doing. They're doing the 308 that we're giving away for Stag Arms. Cool. So that should be a cool show. Um and uh, I don't know if there's anything else out here, but so that's it. No one else has anything else you guys want to talk about? No, not too much. You're really. all good. I think I'm good. Okay, yeah, everyone's okay. good. I want to thank everyone in the chat for all the you know all the good comments and questions and stuff like that. Um, shout out to everyone that thumbs up the video. All the people watching, we really appreciate it. We are on iTunes, so we put iTunes up there. I guess I need to get to work on putting some more iTunes up there this week. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting to do something today, but we're, we've yeah. got a bunch. We've got like 55 episodes on iTunes. Make sure you check that out. I want to shout out everyone that sponsors the channel, like this guy right here, Walter Keller from Safety Harbor Firearms, Rand CLP. They are a big sponsor of the channel, as well as, as Andrew's Custom Leather, and, of course, these dudes right here, Big Daddy big Guns. Big Daddy. Big yep. Daddy Guns. That's the good stuff. Does big sponsor Daddy. the channel, <laughs> letting us get access to all the badassery. Yeah, there and of, of course... We should not forget the people that really make it all possible. Patreon. The Patreon people. So we are Patreon slash Hank Strange. That's Patreon. where we're at. Patreon peeps. Exactly. Those are good folks out there taking care of us. So good night to everyone. See you guys tomorrow. We'll be on late. Peace. Hi, guys. Peace out. We are out of here.